Let's see if this will work right there. Fucking thing sucks! Oh god, You're all alive. these sounds are going off right now. Oh, I hit the wrong buttons. This is, we'll repeat okay. it. Okay, scratch that. Fucking thing sucks! <laughs> we'll do it live. Okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. Welcome back to Cruising with Steak. Grim Steak here. Here we are, Tuesday night, live on Grime America FM. It's August 20th, 2019. There's the date. And I'm joined by Mr. James Cruz. James, what's happening? And we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. <laughs> yes, we are. What's up? <laughs> what's up, man? Oh, we also got. Jerry Cthulhu with us. Hello. That's, that's great. Burp speaking the entire podcast tonight I, as, I as a joke. <laughs> and we also have that guy. Thanks a lot, Dr. Stickhead. You totally fucked me there. No, oh, and his <laughs> audio just drop was quiet, but we still appreciate it. <laughs> was that from The Hangover? <laughs> and we, no. And we got Suzanne. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, and we got returning Flavor Town. Welcome back. Thanks for having me back. I don't have a fun drop for you, though. That's all <laughs> right. <laughs> Who needs drops? That's what we do. Man, yeah, he came back. Round two. Hasn't gotten scared <laughs> off. I've been noticing there's there's been this uh, this thing happening where we'll pick up like uh, an extra person will come in, join with us for a few weeks, and then they just kind of vanish off into the distance, you know. Like, remember Martian, Martian archaeologists? They get alive. Yeah, okay. yeah that, that could be. That could we be. Yeah. Them Let's. Hey, come on, come on. No. <laughs> he, it's possible. He's like gone from the internet. He deleted all of his accounts. Yeah, yeah. he disappeared. Destroyed. Jake was Jake was here for a little bit. Jake was gone at the wind. It's he spiraled just, out himself. It's his own fault. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Spiraled inward. It's possible. People do yeah. spiraling. It was, the, it was the, the night when he was trashed. That was the last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah that yeah, was the yeah, last yeah. time. But we'll always remember. We'll always remember. He should Jake. come back. He should totally come back. He should. Maybe totally there's works, uh, yeah, who cares? Uh, he says he's yeah, but he's all been trashed online. Oh my god, it's once a week for me. <laughs> I mean, literally, this is how I operate the show. You got Jordan <laughs> Peterson harassing you in chat now. I know, right? Exactly. Where are those? What? Sound, where are those sound bites at? Here's one. Cruising with steak. Makes my loins tingle. See? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> there was another one he had, too. The one uh, right above that one. Oh, no, that was a different one. No, there was a. it was this one right here. I love the way you tease the tip of my cock with your tongue, Grim Steak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jerry, how did you do that? I didn't do it. Oh, my God, Who that's knows? hilarious. What's going on here with Call Me Ian? He has, like, 47... Uh, <laughs> accounts Log in the chats in. right yeah. now he just keeps logging in i don't even know what's going on <laughs> who is this guy what's happening is he lurking what's what's happening no uh, he's uh i think he's got the, a case of the technical difficulties cruise going on it's kind of contagious but we sometimes. don't know but we don't know who is that oh he's he's a regular he's here every week yeah Call me he's in. always mm. he's got he's got the nice beards he can't find it, it makes sense <laughs> the nice but uh See the yeah, one that so calls me an old lady? Uh, who knows, I Suzanne? Am? We could, I mean, we could, I mean, I'll ban him if you want me to right now. I mean, if. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an old lady. <laughs> What's going on? What's so, wait, oh my God. I just, there's, what is this Prince Andrew put on Suicide Watch? Is that what's happening right what? now? KW, KW Barrett just posted that in the chats. Let's click on this article and see what's uh, going on. I don't think it's too much. Let's, okay, joke. first let's look at the uh, yeah the source is WW News Waterford Whispers News, so this could very well be a uh, something I don't know. Well, maybe you know since oh no he wasn't on Suicide Watch when he actually this, uh... committed suicide. Wait, what, Andrew? No, no, no. I think, this is, I think this is like a satire site. Yeah. 
I was going to say, are they inferring that Andrew's going to be the next one to suicide himself? Uh, if this article is not satire, then yeah, it's, uh, yeah, there was, it's there was some, satire. there, there was be. some freaky shit coming out kind of on a down low, uh, about the Epstein thing. Uh, t- t- was it, I guess it was today. Uh, I was, I was reading that he, like two days before he, uh, he killed himself. And for those of you without benefit of video, I'm making air quote fingers killed uh-huh. himself. Uh, <laughs> interpret that however you want. Like, so he, uh, oh. He changed his will. Yeah, legally yeah. changed his will. That's old news. So, Today, we've well, got, the prison guards are uh, threatening violence against the ex-cellmate. That muscle guy? Why would they do that? Oh, Why? You're talking about the, the cop that was in, in jail? Yeah. I don't, know. I don't know. <laughs> it's just like well, crazy shit, man. Huh. Yeah, so the the... The the piece that I was bringing up, uh, I guess it was last week about not uh, people not having standing to try to suppress uh, discovery of of his of his belongings. If he willed all of his belongings to somebody, then potentially that person could have standing to resist the court. Uh, yep. Uh, the court orders to to sh- to uh, to show evidence. That guy's saying he doesn't want to have anything to do with it, though. And he didn't even know, allegedly. The Bill said. Gates guy. Yeah, the Bill Gates guy. What? What's the what? Who's the Bill Gates guy? <laughs> He's supposed to. <laughs> I thought head. you read the chans all day. Don't they have all this crap on there? Well, no. Sometimes I have to get coffee. <laughs> oh, that takes a lot that's of time. Right. The chans. <laughs> the Bill Gates. Take that dog on to, boat rides. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I have to. I have to unlock the armored bunker, make it up two flights of stairs, decompress. Uh, and then brew a pot of coffee, take one cup, and then go back down. <laughs> there's a lot of time to do. There's a process to all You're this. You're listening to the most despicable yeah. podcast, Cruising with Steak. Cruising with Steak. <laughs> the most despicable. What is that guy's name, Jer? Jordan Peterson. No, 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 no. The guy who Epstein left all his crap to. Six hundred million. It went into a trust <laughs> called. Uh, In the, the trust <laughs> with. That's what, it. It went into a trust. There's. That's it. There's no. There's a guy though, the trustee, the guy who. I don't, I don't know. I really don't. Bill, know. The Bill Gates guy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think he knows no, Suzanne. <laughs> <laughs> but he might. We don't know. He could be holding out on us. Oh uh, wait, I ping, might know. Pinging to Google. Do. Well, in regards to this article, so under direct orders from the Queen, the royal's favorite son will be kept on watch until such a time as he, yeah, he lo- no longer possesses a risk to harm himself or to immediate family or their reputations. Prince Andrew has recently announced his retirement from public life, citing a period of several personal stresses <laughs> as being Wait. kept up, under observation by a team of suicide prevention specialists. Flo- <laughs> Flown in from America. <laughs> you know what they're doing? They're yeah. trying to keep him from being suicided. Yeah, yeah. We need some armed it's, guards it's around this guy. He's the he's the favorite son, including over uh over over Charles. The, the, oh. I mean, he, he's the favorite. this potato Wait. is a favorite <laughs> it's a favorite son well, over Charles. A, yeah. I thought he's he was the Charles' mommy's son. favorite. No, he's Charles' Andrew's brother. Not Char- it's Charles's brother. Uh-oh. They're a bunch of fucking inbreeds. Who cares? <laughs> Although, Oops. Uh, the queen's husband can't stand Fergie, so there's that. She's hot. Like they can't even be in the same on the same compound, you know. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> I, re- I, I really show, liked Philip shows up as she leaves. Sorry. Go ahead. I, I I really liked I really liked Fergie in uh, in in uh, the Spice Girls. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Yeah. No, in uh... oh crap! <laughs> oh, brain gas. There it is. I'm brain How farting. You? Okay. In the no. the um, fuck the brown eyed peas, black eyed peas. The no, yeah, I like it. brown. I like the brown eyed peas oh, way yeah. better, Jer. <laughs> we'll go with them. <laughs> like I said, she's hot. Yeah, Fern. yeah, she's the chickpea. The chickpea. Mm. Yeah, that's what yeah. that's what they call her. I think she lives in Atlanta too. Speaking oh, of which, do you, do you know the difference between a, do you know do you know the difference between a garbanzo bean and a chickpea? Personally, no. you asking me? 
Anybody. <laughs> this sounds like Monk. some kind of punchline you're going to zing at us. So let's just hear yeah. it. Yeah. Monk, <laughs> as far as I know. Yeah, nobody ever accused uh, Trump of having a garbanzo bean on a hotel bed. <laughs> oh, chickpea, no. the PP tape. I get it. Uh, <laughs> you know what? That's probably one it of the exist, I've ever heard that's actually funny. <laughs> you nailed it. You nailed it, that guy. What is that? Whoa, there's yeah. two guys, Darren Indyke and Richard Kahn, as executors <laughs> of his will. Name. Con. Derek Con. K A H N. But I think it's more like C O N. It's a Dewey screw him and how. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Do you think if do you, do you think if the if the one guy pisses the other one off, you'll it, you, you'll hear him yelling God. <laughs> God. It's possible. Yeah. You know what I oh, learned it's today? The, it's the third guy that was uh the backup guy that was right. He's like the executor. Yeah, yeah. The um I forget what they call it. If the executors are unable to exe- ex- execute the will, there's a right. A con- a con- a con- yeah, he was shocked to find out and said he would not fulfill his duties. Why? If called upon. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He has to by law. Ha <laughs> ha. The, the will does not identify any beneficiaries, but it lists his brother, Mark Epstein, as his single heir. All I know is he can bill out the ass for that work. Which would be bloody uncomfortable, I'll tell you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Billing out the ass? It's the worst place to bill. <laughs> Seriously, though, to, to a lawyer to say, I'm not going to take that job is like, wow. So do you guys, do you guys like know, a wrongful death suit? <laughs> do you guys know Dick Van Dyke's still alive? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Isn't that oh crazy? My God. <laughs> maybe maybe they're going to bury him Why? in his wrongful death suit. He's not still alive. He's alive again. Exactly. I swear he died. I swear yeah, Dick Van Dyke die. died. I'm pretty sure he, he died. totally died. Yeah, well, apparently not. And what do you I, mean? We, we, Somebody we see him? He was. He came out on Twitter today saying, "I'm not dead." <laughs> Basically, like that's what that happened. <laughs> 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 they cloned me, and you all so forgot. Weird. This is Jerry weird. Lewis is so still weird. alive for fuck's sake. No, he is. It's not impossible. No, he's not. Unless he died in the last year, he's alive. He was he alive did in, die in the last year, I think. He was alive at the 2016 election. Yeah, they they keep him in a corner of the prop oh, shed he, uh, he covered with alive. plastic so he doesn't get stale. Oh, yeah, he died August 2017. Oh, okay, so he's not alive anymore again. Oh, my gosh. Weird. They, remember they wheeled him out at the campaign? He's like, I hate Trump. Oh, lady. I see Trump over there. Oh, lady. The Hello, lady. The fat lady, the fat lady. Oh, man. So by Epstein putting uh, this money, his money in a trust, does that mean that these, the lawsuits, people, the, uh, his victims? We'll have to sue go... the trust. Any civil lawsuits, we'll have to sue the trust. <clears throat> but is I, the trust, li- is it supposed to pay out or no? The way, if I remember correctly from what I was reading in the will that was published, allegedly published, it said that after any extraneous legal fees or anything the rest would go into the trust but they're not reserving any for damages for for any tort that's coming which i'm mm. sure there'll be a ton of but it's going to be years it's going to be oh years. yeah that will's going to commit suicide mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the old spontaneously sure combusting will just go yeah, it, it'll dive into a uh, it'll dive it's, a shredder on its own it's yeah. all a distraction to keep you away from thinking about who the fuck killed Epstein in his cell? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's and then all, that's a distraction from something else. So. Well, look at the huge uh-huh. distractions. Like, there, it seems like nothing's going on, but today, like, they're hitting us hard with entertainment distractions. Like, they're they they're throwing this big Spider-Man feud it's because going between Israel bombed Iraq. Oh, there you go. Supposedly, there it is. There's, there's a new Matrix Iraq. movie. Is, is that the like the sixty five people dead thing? I didn't know Is about it? this. I, know, I, See, I didn't even hear about headline. this, Suzanne. <clears throat> <laughs> I only saw the headline. I can't verify that. I haven't verified it. It was yet. like a wedding bombing or something. See how much Epstein's net worth was that went into the trust? Oh, that was, yeah, 577. 577. <laughs> yeah. Bar was Three hours ago, Iraq hit by new blasts. Zephyr yeah. Israel hints it can attack Iran there. Yep. This is on Newsweek. This is a video. You Let's know. Play. I'm going to play this video. Let's okay. see wait, if I get wait, 
Fuck that. Who cares about that? They're gonna kill. They're gonna attack okay. Iran no matter what. It's all part right. of the agenda. All right. Okay. Talk about Hong Kong. I think this is the fly in the ointment. Oh, Hong Kong. That stuff's crazy. They're using Pepe the Frog too. I love it. So uh, some reports came out um, last week that China was blaming the U.S. and Russia for sending uh, Asian provocateurs or you know instigators into Hong Kong to stir up trouble. Mm-hmm. Uh, 4chan, we would never do that. No, well, we don't do that. <laughs> some people on 4chan actually found evidence that the Chinese government themselves are sending instigators. In. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's pretty interesting. I, I mean, isn't that just the playbook from governments nowadays? Like, yes. But if they're trying to squash, quash the movement, I guess there could be infiltrators. But these these people have gotten caught. <laughs> China, China, Japan. For sure, they got caught. The Chinese guys or, did. Yeah. Well, oh. No one, <laughs> again, from you, from China, the report I heard uh, Joseph Farrell talking about this that. Mm. It's it's rumored the Chinese have said there are rumors that you know other countries have sent in infiltrators. It just it's like there's no proof of anything, and it's just uh, it's the Chinese version of sources say. Well, he, he, I don't remember who I was listening to who talked about this. It might have been him. Yeah, it was him. That basically China's fucked because if they go in and Tiananmen Square, Hong Kong. It's going to destroy their whole Silk Road effort. You know, oh. um, this, you know, this is like the three belts, one road kind of response. Yeah. Right. And if if they don't do anything, then they're looked at as weak. Right? And Russia's kind of... I forgot what he said about Russia, but Russia also plays a part in this too. Like They're both over a barrel right now because of Hong Kong. I think that's more interesting than... Whatever you're talking about, politically. Oh, uh, fuck! What was it? Israel bombing in Iraq. Uh, uh, yeah, the Iran War, the coming Iran War. It's, there's no that coming Trump Iran is not going to let it happen until after he gets into office. I cannot. Exactly. I used to left. think he would. That he would. If it was far enough out, maybe. Not now. It's too close. I I think it's a convenient distraction. I don't think I don't think we're doing anything with with Iran. You could look at it one way too that the, the democratic attacks on well, the liberal attacks on Trump have really done nothing. But if mm-hmm. they could if they could, you know, entice him into a war, trick him into going to war, that would that would screw him over from re election. They want to go to war just as bad. Like yeah, everybody but wants to yeah. go to war. I'm, I'm pretty sure that they doesn't want to go to war. They could just like, go to war. Yeah. I don't I just mean in like the government. Mm-hmm. You know? Military industrial complex, man. Keep it keep it going. Gotta make weapons to sell. On. Money, 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 money. That's what it's all about. Money, 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 Eight money. billion seven hundred and thirty-seven exactly. million five hundred and forty thousand. <laughs> That's why they're still doing the, the missile tests and the exercises in uh in Korea so we could keep selling them weapons shit, weapons That's defenses. Why it's just it's everything's just still the Can't same. Can they figure something else to make? I made a, a Jordan Peterson wave file that says that number. Oh, <laughs> that really? says what? The number? <laughs> five billion, whatever it is, yeah. <laughs> Don't believe the five point six. What does that even mean? <laughs> does it matter? No. What's he referring <laughs> to? That five point six. The five point six always lies. Yeah, but it don't lies. believe it. Whatever it is. <laughs> if you hear five point six, that's that's really an eleven. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I would think it has to do with like 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 vote amounts or something. You know, like like during the election or something. Oh, I got it. It's that, uh, that's what that's what I'm thinking. It is. It's real unemployment. The exact quote yeah. is: ah. real "Unemployment is anywhere from 18 to 20 percent." But then the drop comes in. Don't believe, don't believe the five point six. Yep, there it is. Don't, don't believe it. <laughs> nope. Man, Jerry, Jerry, how was uh, how how did you feel at at the end of your first uh, obelisk show? What was your uh? You think it was a success? Yeah. Yeah, it didn't suck. That's That was pretty much my takeaway. Nice. Um, I remember how I awkward enjoyed it, it was. The, thank you for the 10 minutes you were there. The uh, I, I remember there. how awkward it was when <laughs> I'm kidding. 
<laughs> how how awkward it was when we first did the Max Mente stuff. And I was constantly like worried I was gonna say Nox Mente shit on that show. <laughs> 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 like I almost said, welcome to Nox Mente. Oh, it's on it, you know, that kind of stuff. Um plus Nish and I hadn't gotten a chance to like work out an agenda or schedule or how it's gonna go. We just kind of winged it. I know how that is. That's about right. <laughs> yeah. So uh yeah. It was cool. It was, it was cool. really good. The next mm-hmm. one will be good because so Michael Joseph's going to come and talk about like esoteric ritual nature, uh, ritualistic esoteric nature of 9/11. Nice. <laughs> oh yeah, because you're doing on 9/11, aren't you? That's right. That's that awesome. 9/11. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> on the full moon, so we're going to milk that fucker. Mm-hmm. Milk it good. Milk it like a cockroach. That's right. <laughs> Lack of n words. <laughs> I want to be a guest on Nox Men cruising. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to the most despicable part. Oh, a little hard to hear those drops. Oh, they're not drops. I'm just playing. Oh. <laughs> I was looking for the one with the numbers. I guess I didn't say it. Yeah, so it seems like the Waterford Whisperer News is uh, yeah. uh, definitely satire. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> the, the B, the one B, Bayonet, bay, was it? Oh, um, so Andrew's not on Suicide Watch? No, we can always no. dream, though. <laughs> I like this one. So your friends named their baby what you were going to name your baby. Here's what happens next. <laughs> Babylon. You don't ever Babylon. talk to them again. Oh, shit. Babylon bees like an onion, but the, the stories are like almost believable. Yeah. Is it Babylon bee? Yeah, the Babylon yeah, bee. Yeah, it is. Babylon bee. Yeah, yeah. I love those satire sites. It's really the only the news Port- that's... Portland Police. We wish there were some kind of organized armed force that could fight back against Antifa. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> that's a good wow. That's... <clears throat> Gosh, if, if only there was somebody in, in, in an official capacity who could sack up and do something about these people. Yeah, that we pay. <laughs> yeah. It was so yeah. stupid. Well, that was the whole thing. Work. I mean, this uh, my the entire weekend, my Twitter feed was just filled with idiots in Portland fighting in the streets. Like it was just so stupid. And it's like, what is this? Like, who are these people out there? Are they put or there to distract? Yeah. Like, what is they're this shit, man? Yeah, they're exactly. That's exactly what they're doing. God, I, I wish I was, they were actually was, larping though. Like, it joined their larp. Yesterday, group. I was at um, uh, well, I was working or whatever. <laughs> we were at uh, my um father-in-law's brother's uh cabinet shop and uh he was actually in portland like a couple weeks ago and he was in that exact spot where that that whole fight went down (laughs) Uh, like as all of them do there but yeah he's like they weren't there then were they no no, not during that not not just last weekend they were there maybe like a couple weeks ago hey did you see that message we're not live yeah i know i'm reconnecting right now Yeah, I don't know what happened. That uh, stream dropped. Probably said the, we probably said something yeah. about Israel. This is my favorite one so far. That the pre-recorded laugh track still doesn't laugh at Amy Schumer special. <laughs> <laughs> With everything going. The world is waiting for you to be president. <laughs> what? Oh. Weird. Um. But we don't know. Two. Maybe four? All right, we're back up now. Everything's good now. <laughs> yeah. We saved it. You're crazy. Yeah. I will build a great, great wall on our southern border, and I will have Mexico pay for that wall. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah what that happened was to all that? rage, man. That was now, like, now they're just policing. No now that's yeah. a deep fake. That's a deep fake. So are we considered that's racist podcast because we don't denounce Why? Trump? I mean, because we, like, we what? Because we don't denounce that Trump. You, <laughs> racist by association is a fucking idiot. Yeah. Fucking bullshit. Then. Yeah, racist by association. I like it. Fuck them. Anything by association is idiocy. Idiocracy. Idiocy. Cretinism. You're not a nice person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but we oh. do bash him too. I mean, like. <sighs> Oh yeah. yeah, I just think it's it's okay to find him funny. Like exactly. Yeah. 
Why he's not like laugh? He's hilarious. He he's has an entertainer, up. dude. That's his mm-hmm. fucking job. That's right. Yeah. So and the way I look at it is that he's entertaining and he hasn't fucked up really bad yet. Yeah. The day he fucks up, my, my favorite on him. My favorite title that I've heard from him, or heard about him so far, is "Shit Poster in Chief." Oh, he <laughs> totally is. Did you see that tweet he did last totally. night? He's like, I'm not going to do this to Greenland. And it's a picture of like the Greenland shore with a giant golden Trump, Trump tower, tower on it. Yeah. Like, it's, it's just hilarious. <laughs> like, he's just trolling the world. Commander tweet. Yeah. And it's obviously a joke and people don't get it. They just get so yeah. pissed. Oh, yeah. well, I heard Stephen Colbert today on an interview with somebody like Jimmy Kimmel or something like that. And he said he would never have Trump on his show because. Yeah. He can't respect a man who doesn't respect the office of the president. <laughs> That's so stupid. I can't, I can't respect yeah. somebody who actually respects the office of the presidency. Like, that's insane. So, so wait a minute. He can't have somebody on that, that, that doesn't respect the office of the president, and yet he doesn't respect the office of the president. Right. <laughs> I, I know, I know. It's double yeah, talk. He doesn't Trump respect himself. But Simple. this is Trump's problem with like the establishment media, besides the, the fact that he's a Republican, a Democrat turned Republican. So that's like a 10x against you right there right <clears throat> is that he's he's uncouth and he's non-traditional let's say that <laughs> right? mm-hmm. like obama wouldn't do half the shit say half the shit he said he's an honest guy he just speaks his mind and that's what i don't like he doesn't lie i don't about know if that. he's so honest I mean, i'm not gonna say he doesn't lie but he doesn't lie he doesn't make white lies to make things sound good he won't reword a statement against someone because it's <clears throat> nasty. You know you what know? you're getting with him. Like, you know who Trump is. Yeah. He's an exaggerator. He's full of shit. He's this crazy New York real estate guy. You know what you're getting with him. And if you expect him to be anything different, you're crazy. Like, he's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's so just, just he's a cartoon I mean, if you, character. If you want him on The Apprentice and hate him now, what the fuck is wrong he, with him? Yeah, he's, like, he's a he's, living cartoon character. He's the best. <laughs> He is the political version of Cheese Whiz or, or, or spray cheese, right? So if you if you eat spray cheese expecting cheese, you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> exactly. It's it's, but, it's absolutely- but, but spray cheese is pretty tasty all on its own. <laughs> it's it oh, yeah, I'll crush a bag of them crackers with that shit. <laughs> all, the, um, all the Trump bashing in the media and social media, that programs a lot of people against him right there who don't read into the stories or any you know read read nothing but headlines or hear what their friends tell them or watch cnn all day people think i'm controversial but I, I think it also but has like a, is, i'm a nice guy <clears throat> it has a reverse effect too because so many people who hear that and like hear it every day and hear it every day are just like i'm sick of this shit and just like out of like a spite vote are just gonna vote for him anyway that <laughs> like was I, the I, news yeah. today that the moderate democrats are like cut it out left or we're gonna we're gonna vote for trump yeah people are People are hate liking him. It's it's yeah. true. It's because Isn't of that what all the Bernie like, supporters secretly did. Well, no, all the all the Bernie supporters actually uh, were pissed off because of the fuckery that was going on in the DNC. Mm-hmm. Right. That's what I'm saying. Is like, didn't they all just kind of spitefully vote for Trump at that point? No, they voted for Hillary. Yeah. So- yeah, I don't know. It, it was probably a split in there somewhere where they I voted for so. people or write, wrote folks in. I think what's going to happen is they're going to run like Biden or Kamala as the main candidate, and then a third party is going to come in, split the Democratic vote, and Trump's going to win by a landslide. And that's Harris, my prediction. Tulsi, Tulsi killed her. She's done. I'm calling it right now. I think it's going. To, I think the ticket is going to be Biden and Kamala, and and before, before. Uh, probably a month into the election, somebody is calling them Bamala. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bamala. Mm-hmm. God, that'll be the I worst ticket ever. Joe yeah. Biden will not live to see the primaries. It's possible. His brain yeah, might just so. fall out of his head. I mean, he's had Dude, the top of his head cut off how many times? <laughs> he said he's had endless brain surgery. <laughs> like, come he's on. had three heads. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can't trust a guy like that. You can't talk to him for more than ten, you know, two minutes before he, he loses his focus. Well, that's why they're going to yeah, pull I think the whole. The memory uh, leak, he has to reboot periodically. Yes, exactly. The, the, they ten keep running. Seconds, Tim. Well, they keep running these candidates where they can't run them in public. Like with Hillary, like she was having those coughing fits like crazy. They couldn't even run her. They're like, just don't. Uh, we're we're just not going to go anywhere. Yeah, <laughs> the bots are bitch. breaking down. Yeah. That was a clone breaking down, right? 
Yeah. We got to throw her ass into the car. That was hilarious. <laughs> Wasn't that on 9 11? It was yep. on 9 11. Yep. It was. Yeah, we're sitting mm-hmm. at that breakdown. Hey, whatever happened with An- Angela Merkel? An- Angela Merkel, she was having those shakes. Whatever happened with that? It was like six, a, yeah, a bunch of times in a row. She did you see? Did you see fits. video of it? Yeah, there's a lot of videos was, of it. It was crazy. It was creepy. It was creepy looking. Mm-hmm. It's almost like an anxiety. Like, like just like not even. That's like when people get mad cow disease, that, or when cows get mad cow disease. <laughs> that's what they shake. Like. They should have looked at her tongue. What? It could have been the kuru. We got her. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> what, starring when Kuru people, getting everybody. Dude, it's, it's like, like Kuru. When people, classification when people get it, when people get it, it's called Kreutzfeldt-Jakob syndrome. CJG, yeah. Just let me call it Kuru. I just like the word. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> don't believe well, the 5.6. Kuru is a whole other thing. That's from yeah. cannibalism, yep. isn't it? it, it well, it's, it's communicated that way, yeah. Mm. So is Ebola. Uh, yeah. No, you can catch Ebola just by touching somebody with it. I'm pretty sure you could get it just from uh, talking to a CIA agent in an African jungle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the alleged Probably. origin of Ebola was in the Congo or wherever the fuck it was in Africa. Yeah. They were handling raw chimp meat that they yeah. had. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah people eating meat, yeah. Didn't they say they just had discovered a cure? Or? It's not a cure, it's a but treatment. Dude, fuck that. Uh, Ebola okay. was manufactured in a goddamn lab. And they they're no, they're just experimenting no, on people. No, <laughs> That's... No, no, no. Came off what came out of monkeys. Mm-hmm. Allegedly, yeah. Jerry, were you there with the Allegedly. monkeys? How Did you see it happen? Are we going to attribute to monkeys? Come on, you don't believe in yeah, you don't exactly. believe in space. You don't believe in space, but you believe that Ebola came from monkeys, Jerry. <laughs> oh, I come on, which is really us. <laughs> I'm not really worried about Ebola. It's just the news. It's a story right now. It is. When, I see, my, when I see my neighbor bleeding from the nipples, and I'll be <laughs> just from the nipples. <laughs> If you're bleeding from your eyes, I don't care. Let me see your nips. That's right. <laughs> nips and asshole. Those are the two things. That, you know, you're fucked if you, if you bleed from your... I mean, those are obviously those are things that shouldn't be bleeding in the first place, right? Hemorrhagic fevers liquefy your organs, and they you bleed out from your orifices. 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 Orifices, orifices yep. So, uh-huh. anus, nipples, mm. uh, nose, ears. Didn't AIDS come from monkeys, too? That's what I'm saying. Uh, Why is everything yeah, coming from monkeys? Allegedly. So allegedly. Somebody fucked the monkey, though. Well, I mean, why would no you way. not? They're they super close the to people. Lab. Monkey is just code for lab. <clears throat> exactly. AIDS, or it's Ebola code. is AIDS 2.0. Just trying to call the population. I don't know, man. You ever have that hot monkey puss? You don't know. It could be something <laughs> wild. <laughs> The ass is all red and blue and up in the air like no, that. Fuck. Only on the baboons. <laughs> you know, who knows? We don't know. Don't believe the 5.6. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> wasn't, uh, wasn't there that Dr. Mary's monkey story too from yeah. like the cancer? Yeah. Yeah. JFK cancer. Yeah. What is this? Fill me in, it's... guys. I'm, I'm, I'm ignorant to this. What is this? Uh... It was uh they they had the the author had a was an, an episode of THC like Doctor Mary I don't know a couple his of, high school yeah. student Monkey. Mary went okay. she developed she was doing a project on cancer because her grandma had cancer she developed a uh, fast growing cancer the CIA scooped her up took her to what was it New Orleans yeah it was New Orleans New Orleans to was she uh, on a was she on a big ship? <laughs> to whatever no, university is there. Sure. Worked okay. University. Tulane? Yes. Or four and, lane? Uh, it was Tulane. It was Tulane. I don't remember the doctor's name that she worked under, the lady that burnt up in her lab. Yeah. There was weirdness. There were, Total there was, weirdness. There was all kinds of people getting killed. And there was, the net result was a, a chemical called, was it Nagalese? Nagalese? Oh, I don't you? think it was Nagalese. It was oh. uh, a fast-acting cancer that they were going to inject into Castro. But uh, she, this, so this high school girl ended up being uh, Oswald's girlfriend <laughs> of all people. What? Small Jeez. world, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because he world. was in the same circles as the CIA people who brought her in. That's the, yep. <laughs> yeah. She, I think he was like a handler from like basically at that Probably. time. Probably. Probably. 
Well, he wasn't he supposed to get her into Cuba or something? He's a handler intern. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's awesome having a girlfriend who's a handler. I mean, you know, like the bonus. <laughs> yeah, that's like Stephen Paddock. You know, have that handler girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> the Filipino, <laughs> Filipino CIA asset. Sure. <sighs> Where's Felix? Felix is getting. Having uh, his thing. He's getting new carpet studio. in his house, and his his office is just in shambles. So he's taking the night off. But everybody should and go I to Sir Felix. Know, uh, I, still wanna, I still want to know if that new carpet matches the drapes. You know it does. <laughs> but you, everybody should go to Sir Felix and buy his uh, new album, Nighttime Boutique. It's a beautiful listen. Sir Felix I already bought it. Once. It's it's awesome. It is. It's a, it's a great album. I bought it too. I need it's to go awesome. buy it. I would never listen to it, so I didn't. I'd exist. rather just give him 20 bucks. I think Jingle well, there you is, go. is there you go. <laughs> It's great, great music. His goal is upwards of 10,000. So. Upwards of 10,000. <laughs> we'll get, we'll get there. Then he can put his job at the farm. <clears throat> he'll get there. There's some people in the chats posting that they've bought it. It's happening. Good. It's happening. Yeah, support our Felix. But that's is what there I a think, National uh, Cheese Curds Day or not? Is there I'm a really rich. Ch- we really should have one. A National Cheese Curds Day? Maybe that's why he yeah, took the day corn off. Day. He does live in corn Wisconsin. Corn dog days. It's possible. Oh, man, I'd love to have a corn dog. Yeah, Did I don't think I've ever said that. The pickles in them? What? The what? Oh, those look terrible. Oh, those are the those devil. What? Wait, it's, what? It's, it's a pickle. They core out this pickle, put a hot dog in the middle of it, dip the whole thing in batter, and then deep fry uh. it. So it's like an that entire. Sounds like some kind of, that yeah. sounds like some kind of fucking alien abduction atrocity. It is. It yeah. is. It's the devil. It sounds Pickle like dogs. something you'd serve with ranch. And there, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh Jerry, my god! Jerry just posted speaking it in the chats. That's too much pickle, of, man. That is way too much pickle. Pickles, I heard you made a night pickle. Mm. Oh yeah, that guy. You made a, a uh, night pickle. I Dude, did. I could have bought a night pickle pipe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> If you they want a nice pickle pipe, I can make you one. Or not okay. a, it's, not, wow. it's, a, it's a pickle rick pipe. But it reminds oh. me of a night pickle. Wow. <laughs> That's a good pipe. Just call it the night pickle. Yeah. 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 No, I, it's uh, I I was in a long uh, a long detailed uh, discussion with yeah. the uh, with the engineers and product managers at Puppy Fresh Inc. Yeah. And negotiate. And negotiated a uh, negotiated a night pickle contract and uh, developed a prototype and gave them the molds and everything. I heard it, it awesome. glows in the dark. Nice. It does. It does glow in the dark. <laughs> Amazing. Good job. Yeah. So this stuffed pickle, uh, stuffed corn dog, pickles. What the hell is it? Pickle stuffed corn dog. It reminds me of the turducken. You know where you have yeah. uh, where you have a uh, chicken stuffed with a duck stuffed with a turd. The turd yeah, and, this no yeah. Good. that's no good. It's, it reminds it, it, me of urethral dilation. You guys ever have deep fried Oreos though? Those are freaking awesome. Oh yeah. Oh, no, I haven't. I have had it, but they're really soggy. Ah, uh, you probably thanks, Grim. Good right. ones. No, I'm Johnson. That's no, what I'm thinking. It was just like yeah, a carny thing ones. gone wrong. Yeah, carney's gone wrong. It's my favorite documentary. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. the sickest. The sickest carny food that I saw was it was a deep fried butter stick. Oh yeah, I don't think do all. My God, I, I dude. can't. Do, I mean, Have you guys honestly, ever watched that movie Butter? <clears throat> no, what but I've been intrigued. <laughs> Jennifer Garner. What was that? What the fuck? Who who, what's, who died? What's going on right now. <laughs> and uh, who else is in it? Jennifer uh, Garner. That guy. What's Jennifer going Garner on right now? and. Uh, yeah, it's so gross. They they make all this stuff out of butter. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I mean, butter, I like butter, uh, butter, but yeah, I remember being young, like like super young, like toddler young, and uh, going into the fridge and just like <laughs> taking handfuls oh. of margarine oh. and like Cool Whip and shit and shoving it in my mouth. It's oh, a little animal. Yeah. I used to take knives out of the drawer and chase my brother around the house with knives in my hand, and my parents would freak oh my out. God. Yeah, it was, it was a fucking. I always heard thing. stories of like my fat friends that would just melt butter in the fucking microwave, and just like drink it. Ew! <laughs> really? Yeah. Did yeah. Feed really drop like, again? Wow. Feeds don't. They, they would just yeah. melt it. Okay, yeah. I'm, re- I'm reconnecting. Like, 
Uh, Boy, the feet is the feet is up and down like a cheap hooker. Yeah, yeah it's, it's probably because, on. and it's strange because the, suddenly there's uh, tons of listeners that I think that uh, it's all those Israeli Crash listeners. I think Masada has taken us down. I think Masada is too. It's all those because it is. Israel it's still there's right still now. there's still six Israeli listeners on the feed. They've been on there <laughs> exactly for like three like weeks now. Time. They've been on there for like three weeks. It's weird stuff. What were we ta- oh, we were talking about Epstein. Block their IPs. I, right, we're back. You know, I'll tell you, I've, I've, been, I've, I've been over there more than once, and those fuckers can barely figure out a traffic circle. Uh, ears are ears. I'm not going to block Every, their feet. The government's pretty sneaky. It's back now. I don't know what... Yeah, it's, it's, all very, it's all very Soviet. I mean, it looks nice from a distance. It's like Amy Schumer. It looks nice from a distance, but when you get up close, it's like, no. <laughs> it looks uh, good from far, but it's far from good. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Like a Van Gogh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that coincidentally is what I was going to name that boat. Look I was going to name that boat. I was going to name that boat. I was going to I was going to name it Amy Schumer. Because it was. But Mrs. That guy said no, no way. No way. No, I mean it's. Uh, I was going to name it Amy Schumer because it, it looks okay until you get up close. Uh, mm-hmm. It's kind of wide and sits sort of low in the back. Uh, it's slow and it's just it's really just not funny. And I <laughs> I heard it and 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 it just it won't go down. And she laughs at it. Mm-hmm. That's the worst <laughs> part. Why? Can, how are you laughing at this? What is it wrong? It won't go down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your cock and down her throat. What? What won't go down? What are you talking about? The boat won't, won't go, go down. It won't sink. No, oh, it won't go down. It won't sink. Bones. And Amy Schumer doesn't like to give blowjobs. Is that the? Why? What were you blow thinking? Blow oh, Jerry, Jesus Christ! Oh, Seriously? Or your wife? <laughs> I, I don't get it. Amy Schumer's you know, career will never go down. Yeah. Sink. Oh, it's already sunk. Pee Wee Thurman. She'll be lucky if she, she ruined won't. Netflix. I mean, come on. Yeah, probably. She'll be lucky if she can get a you know a gig on Toy Story twelve or whatever. Uh, she goes Pee-wee by Thurman? the agenda, though. She she toes yeah, the she line. Plays, she plays by the she's rules. She's gonna keep working. She's mm-hmm. not funny. What amazing she's comedians funny. like Louis C.K. are getting uh, freaking right. thrown to exactly. the wolves yeah, because they Pito. jerked off in front right. of some women? Come yep, on. They're not a pedo, but a Pervert. Madness. Everybody's a pervert. Exactly. That episode he did with the bag of dicks in the elevator is the <laughs> funniest <laughs> I had ever seen on television in my life. Dude, if you go out with a guy who does skits like that and talks the way he does, why wouldn't you think he was going to jack off in front of you? I mean, come <laughs> people, on. People have, have their weird sense. fetishes. Hey, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, that was an unproven accusation. Had exactly. No, no criminal charges. His word against hers. Exactly. And it's like somebody's got to prove it. Why is everybody taking her side? It was during the Kavanaugh shit. Or oh out. my God, that's why. Yeah. Of which all of those people <sighs> pulled back their claims. Aziz Ansari had a nice little return, though, for what he was had to deal with. His his special that came out a little while ago is pretty good. The, I think the the wave that's going to wipe out this nonsense is is rising and getting stronger. The Q people. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying there's a lot of I'm moderate. Kidding. I'm talking about the, the amount of moderates that are speaking out about about how crazy. Yeah, I agree. You can't even make a joke without getting slammed or smeared. Well, it's like we're finally sick of political fucking correctness, you know? Hell How yeah! How many people do we talk to that <laughs> are sick of that crap? Oh, I, if, I never adhered to it, so I don't really give a shit. But you don't try to, and well, force it on me. Yeah. And if I don't, I will be take you know, have my Chase bank account taken away, or my <laughs> yeah. Patreon will be closed down, or my YouTube PayPal. Account. All of them. Because I'm Sorry. shut down. Right, because I didn't, you know, I'm not politically correct like you. Mm-hmm. Right. You're reporting real news and facts. Those do not yeah. override emotions and morals. <laughs> <laughs> Seems pretty regional though, too, right? Like I don't oh, really totally. get that much PC stuff. Like nope. In the, oh. like, the Midwest, it's basically like almost non-existent. And it is. It's absolutely I'm, non-existent. Really? <laughs> totally. Maybe, oh yeah. If you're dealing with. If you're dealing with you. Yeah, people. definitely, Jerry. I agree with that. Nope. No, I deal with regu- I deal with regular people. They love to own their guns. They love to smoke pot. They they love to go to the local uh, bar for tranny night, and they just they do their thing. 
I'm not even there's joking. A local bar with tranny night? Oh yeah, dude. There's yeah, absolutely a drag you night. Never told me that. Oh yeah, I'm it's stupid. local bars with drag night and like all the people come out. It's weird um, stuff. But you live Small in a towns. Republican county. Oh, 100, a Republican state. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's the difference. It's the Democratic mm -hmm. counties and states, cities, whatever. The people in there are having a hard time. You know, yeah. when Trump uh, first ran, Steve, Steve's family, they're all Democratic and, and they were like freaking out. And, and I think his parents still are. But, you know, uh, he is slowly like kind of coming around to Trump's not that bad. I'm I'm I plan on getting my dad to that position at Thanksgiving. I can't believe that he's come around to that because they totally had him like ah Trump this Trump that and I'm like what what has he done honestly you know and just by <laughs> well, asking these questions and being like you know there's not only crazy. so much being there's normal. only so much of his bullshit yeah. that they could keep trying to like uh, yeah it's it, it's so just I crazy they're at a breaking point. Yeah, I, I more people are realizing Trump, it. it's it's more of a matter of what he has not done. Hey, right? <laughs> what he has done. What's going on here? What's up, Gordon? What's Gordon. up, y'all? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I snuck in under the radar. Dude, what's up, man? Jesus, what's holy up? Christ on a stick! It's been an interesting week. How Cookies about you guys? Man. Interesting week as always. Never I've been bored. Moment. I've been bored. I just woke up after like four days. So <laughs> I just woke up. <laughs> Man, I wish I could sleep for four hours. Jesus, four days. Mm -hmm. I I I'd give I give you know Grim's left nut for that. Good God. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd probably take it. I'm just saying. You, I'd sell you, it back to him. So oh, so you're telling me you want to take Grim's nut? Is that what you just said? Did I say that? You said you'd take. No, I said I'd give his left nut, and you said you'd take it. I don't know. I'm kind of. Wait a minute. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. It's all good. <laughs> so he laughs is, like Adam. He, what, yeah, I I thought it was. Which Adam? I mean, I know six of them. <laughs> <laughs> Tarsus. Oh. Oh. You kind of, you kind of sounded like your your laugh kind of sounded like failed too. I miss, Speaking of which, where is where is, is fucker? Uh, yeah, where is he? Not seen him. In he a pops minute. in every now and then. He, I guess, uh, but I think it was last week. He was at like some EDM fest or something. I don't know. If oh it's, boy, what was that? Who knows? <laughs> something in Edmonton. Probably just dropping ecstasy mm. and taking, you know, listening to some fat beats yes. or something. Dropping X in Edmonton is about the funnest thing you can do in Edmonton. Yeah, I don't know if that's where he was. I'm just making wild assumptions at this point. <laughs> but uh, he wasn't yeah, he, wrong, I, yeah, he, he checks said. in. He checks in to uh, confirm uh, confirm life every now and then. Yeah, so he's still there. Proof of life. Yeah, proof of life. That's all. I, that's all I ask for people every now and then. They pop in every like couple weeks or something. Just let me know you're still let there. Let us know you're still alive. Because <laughs> we're definitely was, still here we every worried. single week. I was gonna. I was gonna show up. You know. Um, last week but my 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 partials have just been off the chisel so mm. oh the the seizures man man i had I, kimmy had to like restrain me like i mean not in a like hold me down kind of way james i think james knows what i'm talking about because i talked to him about my partials but yeah because sometimes i don't know who i am or where i am and that will uh, intertwine with my PTSD, so I go on the offensive. Mm. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's a bunch of fun. Tie him up, tie him up. <laughs> Daddy likes it, uh. yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, but yeah, so it's yeah, my kids started school, so that's you know, that's a good Same thing. Same here, man. It's it's a, it's a early early shit show, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> what um. What grade is your 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 son in? Third. Third. Oh wow. Yeah, seventh and first. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do, I it, don't it, envy it's you a, in the least. It's a mess. It's a mess. Yeah. Well, yeah. My my youngest son. Yeah. He's he's <sighs> he's um kind of on track with the learning of a, a typical boy, but a, a typical boy. 
uh, with it, with like the hyper version of ADHD. My my oldest son has like the uh, the lower end version of it, where he's like more introverted, you know. And uh, so so I'm battling that. And now first grade starts, and I just see how far behind he is. I mean, yeah. like like as a, as like a as a person and as a human being, he's awesome. But academically, he needs a lot of work. So I actually got How far this. behind can you be in first grade? Uh, yeah, it's not. Like, well, you'd be surprised. Uh, yeah. My brother, my brother's thirty-eight. He's still in first He's grade. Still in first grade. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll. I'll and uh, that, I, well, I got. I, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I'm just. I'm just trying to. Yeah, trying to explain a little. Like, I mean, like with just uh, his his fine motor skills and stuff. They just. Mm, I don't know. Like, okay. Yeah, like you know, like yeah, pen, stuff shit, like, that. Shit like that. Like, well, I didn't know how rigid like, they've gotten. You know, oh, dude, it's, first it's grade that. A long it's, time. I don't know, you know, and and it's obviously with schooling now. It's just just get them on. Yeah, the I didn't grade. know how crazy it was. It's just push, well, push, push. Yeah, because James and I had talked about you know because my son had to learn how to talk three different times. <laughs> right, <laughs> and it's because, all common core now too. Susan. Oh, dude, yeah, it's totally, now totally different. Because yeah. he was he was born with with a, a deficiency with his ear, and so he learned how to talk that way, like sound. So, yeah, his, yeah, yeah. The phonetics, yeah. Right. And then they put these these shunts in his ears that fall out after a per, part of time. So they put these things in his ears. Then he had to learn how to talk again. Then they fell out, and then he had to learn how to talk again. Wow. So he, you know, so it was a matter of he he you know, it's like what you sound like when your ears pop. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he was hearing all the time. Oh, how annoying. And and so after that stopped, he had to learn how to do it all over again. You know? And with, with James, I can only imagine like, you know, you're going through seventh grade and first grade, like the dynamics on that, I mean, that's enough to like drive you to alcoholism right there. You know, because you're going yeah, through imagine. you're going through the just, you know, just starting school. And then you're going through the phase of, you know, um, you know, I don't need you, dad. I'm an adult, you know? Yeah. It, it's messed up, dude. It, it, I mean, I think the, well, I, I, I think girls have a, a lot better time adjusting the school than boys, obviously. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I agree with that. Yeah. And then, uh, because my oldest son now he's fine he can read and write and all that crap but it's just just uh now it's all about like getting out of homework and shit yeah <laughs> you know like <clears throat> seventh grade you know it's like fuck all that noise he's, anything he can say and do to get out of it oh yeah i, I worked on that in class no nah, let me see your stuff you know and then lo and behold <laughs> oh i don't remember how you did that you just did it like three hours ago i don't remember yeah yeah <laughs> dude no, I know what you're talking. Yeah, yeah. and the, yeah, but the youngest, but we got him a tutor, which is which I wish I would have done. Like th- this is where the schooling thing is whack because like I'm like, and even the summer thing that they, they introduced this like if yeah, say your kid or whatever is a little low like in the in the reading comprehension and stuff, they'll they'll send him to the, like at least in my my district here they'll they have like a summer reading camp and it basically takes up the last month of summer you go for like three hours a day and literally i just was like i didn't learn a goddamn thing there you know, <laughs> the entire yeah. three entire month you know like because because i we got this tutor which was a was an ex-teacher well out of work teacher basically and um and she actually worked with the tons of kids that are just like ours so she knows all these things with even with the fine motor skills and everything and like dude in like one hour he just like it's like let's just hire this chick to teach my kid <laughs> like it's an unbelievable like right yeah no i know what yeah. you mean yeah it's just all different like yeah jerry's saying common core like all it's so different well it's it was like that with when caleb was learning how to talk because he had yeah. a, a speech uh therapist for two years and and i'm i still talk to her she's on my facebook I and mean, she's yeah. awesome person and and she she writes me checking in on him i mean how many teachers do that you know uh two, nice. two you know and uh and he has come a long way since you know since he was you know the way he was talking because he was talking very condensed 
he would combine words to make it easier and things of that nature. And that's completely changed. And, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. What was the topic before I jumped in here? Yeah, were, yeah. Um... We're talking about how we're all Trump supporters now. Oh, absolutely, one hundred percent. Talking baby. about how Trump twenty twenty. Yeah. It, it, oh are, wow. Are we racist because we just because we don't disavow Trump? Like, uh, it, like that because was we of, laugh with him. Because we at laugh him with so him much. and not at him. Yeah. Oh, when he says China, China. Yeah. yeah. We're laughing China. with him. China. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, he's I'm sorry. Like, just it sounds so perverse when he says China. Oh, it's the best. You know? He's the greatest human China, ever. China. But it's uh, he's still going on about this Greenland thing. Like he's still tweeting today about <laughs> talking going? talking about Denmark <laughs> about purchasing Greenland. Like what is this? Yeah. So he's is a this... real estate dude after well, all. Like what do you expect? Green, uh, trade routes or something like it? That was his whole. The whole like idea, possibly in the future. I think maybe Adam uh, Kerr is talking about a no agenda. I think it's mining. Mining, it's mining. yeah. The, well, the maritime routes would go by uh, Greenland, so he's like thinking future investment or something. Yeah, but, but we you, also, you don't need rights to go through. True, you, you don't need rights well, to sail the seas. Okay, well, isn't? The, I guess the thought is since Greenland is sinking, he can get it at a really good bargain. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. Yeah. Like, is it with the Arctic like kind of melting? Isn't like all this whole new mining like kind of opening up, or not mining, but like oil rigs and shit, and all this like, isn't a bunch of shit kind opening of up? It's kind of of, sort of. It's I, I mean, I don't know. Melting. I'm not up there. I don't know for sure what's going <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, we're actually not <laughs> there. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I'm not there. It's, it's melting, probably. I mean, is I it melting? I, yeah, I saw I real. World, or, I saw. I saw. <laughs> I saw Waterworld. I know what could happen. <laughs> <laughs> I know what can happen if they all melt. <laughs> yeah, man. So, uh, to you know, to kind of lighten the mood, I don't know if that guy is a wrestling fan or not. Uh, yeah. Oh shit! I, I did. I did a lot of. I did a lot of writing for it. Uh, so mm -hmm. my my question is, James, to you, NXT moving to USA. I heard of, my son just told me about it. Well, they're going to be competing with AEW. It's going to be like Nitro, ver WCW versus WWE well, all over it? again. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I like that idea. Uh, like one card versus another. Uh, that's pretty. That's a that's a that's a good gimmick. Uh, but I think what what is it? Um, is AEW going on uh, Fox with uh, with with SmackDown? No, it's um, it's uh, uh, what you call it, TNT. Oh, so they're yeah. separate too. Okay. Wow. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I would. Um... Is that like DC versus Marvel? Exactly. Yes. Exactly mm. like that. And oh my god. Okay. So speak. Since you brought up DC, they're talking about the Batman movie, and there's going to be like six different villains at the same time. <laughs> six villains. Have, okay. have, have have you guys ever seen a movie that had more than two villains that was actually worthwhile? What was that, that Spider? Exist. Was that Spider Man three that had like three villains and it was three, terrible? Three. Which which one? Oh. One of the, one third, of the Spider Man. It, like, it was like Spider Man three or something. It was like there's a lot of villains going on. There's a lot of stuff going there. on there. And Avengers Endgame had like fuck a lot of. Villains. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah dude, there's yeah. a lot going on in that movie yeah. too. But that was kind of like a build up. To a continuation of a lot of movies going on. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta watch it again. That was such just, a, that was a good fucking flick. I've watched it three times now. Yeah, it's a good flick, dude. Oh, three times, chair. Yeah, there's a, actually if you watch it, there's a blooper in it. If you catch it, it's the oh. only. It's toward the end when Cap when Cap America is is fighting Thanos. He has his earpiece in his in his right ear. Yeah. And as he's fighting Thanos, his earpiece disappears and it goes into his left ear. <laughs> and then, then you hear Falcon go on your left. And it's like, <laughs> on your left. It's like where the where'd your fucking earpiece go? Did it? You know? <laughs> did did you eat it? Or you know? Um, if you want to see something interesting? Watch. Go back and watch Captain America: Winter Soldier sometime. Yeah, that that was the one they filmed here. That <laughs> that movie is just crazy. With some would say like. Uh, like the mind control programs that were are alleged of, you know, super soldiers, that kind of shit. Super soldiers, right? Yeah. It's like totally yeah, what this is all about. Yeah. yeah. Well, the whole Bucky thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah it, I, I, the, I was, I posted something earlier last week. Well, um, 
this I listen to the sports talk show, but it's more like a show like ours, but they do it's it's on a sports station and and not as insane as ours, but uh but anyway, the but they brought they like the 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 two brothers that are the creators of that, the Russo brothers. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're from Cleveland here and they were in town and they were doing all these these you know, they were doing their stops on shows and stuff. Well anyway, so they were on the show. And, and they brought up like rumors of the movie and stuff. And uh, one of them was there was this rumor going around that Thanos in, in whatever one reality or something, because <clears throat> ultimately whatever they picked is what, what came out. We've all seen it. But um, these all these alternate timelines. Well, there was one where like they, they, they were floating around uh, Thanos chops fucking Captain America's head off. <laughs> and and like carries around in a bag with him like the whole time the fucking movie. There was another one about Ant Man yeah. flying up his butt, and bump his butt, yeah, and expanding. Yeah, but the, the, yeah, I yeah, it was weird. And so he brought up the fact that yeah, like yeah, we floated all those around. He's like, we did actually think about doing that. But like, can you imagine like the 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 psyche of like a kid get the theater with Thanos walking around with Captain America's head in the bag the whole time? <laughs> be so creepy, dude. That that would yeah, that, that's so wicked. The Just, very first oh, scene of that movie, he cuts off Thanos' he cuts head. His head off. I know. It's so. So they're ready for another beheading. Yeah. Spoilers, guys. Come on. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and uh, they're like another thing they had that they kept they put out like like. <clears throat> like fake scripts and stuff for like the internet to just juice on. Well, the whole time. Did, did you guys hear about the whole Spider-Man thing that happened just today? Right. I saw yeah. something about it. I didn't really read. I, I, uh, I would assume Sony wanted it back or something. No, no. Sony wanted to renegotiate with Disney for more money and Disney told them to suck it. Oh, and totally. I, yeah. And so Sony said, fine, you can't <sighs> use Spider-Man. So nobody even knows if Tom Holland is still Spider-Man, man. That's that's weird. He so, instantly lost a job. <laughs> so it's they're going to be starting the Spider Man verse all over again. Ugh. Oh, good. Sony's we could use another Spider Man reboot. I'm ready for it. <clears throat> yeah, it's like, only been like five years. Yeah, like, like they like a good one too. If it's if Sony does it, like then they, they'll go ape shit crazy with it. The way Sony's already like, done it. They've all already no, done I mean, it. Oh yeah. no, like a good version of it with like Deadpool and. Like, 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 just go crazy with it, dude. Yeah, James Franco talking about pie in those movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, what was that? The was that Fox at the no. time? Was it, was, uh, yeah, I think it was. Well, that Deadpool, was the same, wasn't it? Deadpool, Fox, and Spider Man is Sony, oh. and everything else is is Disney slash. Uh, was, didn't Disney buy Fox? Yeah, and then they were talking about this. Well, because Deadpool's a. Uh, what, is he a crossover? I don't know what he is. He a crossover dude? I don't think he, I think he's always a Marvel guy, right? Yeah. So, well, they said that they weren't going to change his like his character, his you know his, his rashness. Yeah. It's going to stay rated R. Yeah, it would be like the only rated R thing they ever put out, probably. But, um, but I I think in the comics there there's a there's a time when like. Spider-Man and Deadpool. Like, I don't know if there's a feud or they team up. I can't remember well, which. No, yeah. In the comic book, they're kind of best yeah. friends. Right. Yeah. And uh, and they also, like, Deadpool, he's one of the characters who he just kind of teamed up with everyone at one point. Yeah. Uh, he's teamed up with Iron Man, Spider-Man, uh, Daredevil. You know, and they're talking about rebooting Daredevil for the big screen. And Charlie Cox is like, so does that mean I'm still Daredevil or what? Yeah. <laughs> and that's not necessarily true about Disney and, and R-rated films. They, they, are, they no. own other production companies and distribution companies like Buena Vista Pictures. Well, you know what? <clears throat> well, their streaming thing now, I, it's, a, it's a triple package. It's like it's Disney, Hulu, and I think ESPN. I, I think is all it's the, it's like three of them, and uh, for the price of one, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to charge for this thing. It's, it, but everyone's saying that the Disney streaming service is Disney Plus, right? It's yeah, yeah. To, uh, kill Netflix. I don't know about well, that. <laughs> they're, they're talking. I mean, Tom, uh, uh, Tom Hiddles. Uh, I, I lose track of the Toms. Um, the guy who plays Loki. <laughs> He yeah. said that, that the Loki TV show is all of six hours. It's mm. six one-hour episodes. 
And yeah, they make these seasons so small now. It's ridiculous. It's I like, know. I mean, when seasons like, were 23 fucking episodes. Yeah, now they're like eight. Like <laughs> on some of them, Netflix shows are like eight. I'm like, give me more. <laughs> Disney's going to go six. They're going to break the mold. Yeah, they're going to break the mold. Yeah. Well, why eight men and ads when you can have six men and ads? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Get into my office. Why? Because you're fucking fired. <laughs> <laughs> Did any of you yeah. go down that rabbit hole of that uh, Bloodlines of the Illuminati book with uh, talking oh. about Fantasia and like all the MK Ultra? Oh, no. I know there's I a like whole thing that. with that, right? What do you know yeah, about it? Well, there's a, I think I posted it in the chats a few days ago. I found in on, it's the CIA Gov's website. It's uh, apparently a book that they found in the Abbottabad compound when they raided Osama's compound. No way. Yeah. That's, not a, that's not a real place. You made that word up. I know. Badabad? All words are made up. Yeah. And, but uh, donk a donk. They went to the exactly. donk a donk. Yeah. It's, uh, and it's this book. It's called Bloodlines of the Illuminati. And it's it's got a huge section of it dedicated to talking about how Fantasia and Pinocchio were used for mind control programming. And like literally so like a, at some point it goes to like a scene for scene breakdown of the movie. I, I'm. Oh, I'm is sorry, that a Fred Springmeyer book? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, I was just imagine say, Osama listen, reading that. Like, and it's kind of like, when did he have time for that? What was he doing reading that? Who? Silly Osama. Bin Laden. Yeah, what was he thinking? <laughs> Who said he was reading that? They found it in his compound. That's Allegedly. the whole thing. That's why it's on. The, I know. That's why it's on the CIA government's website. Apparently. It was yeah, probably it, I mean, those guys probably thought, yeah, I know how we can fuck these guys over. Like the, you know, make them conspiracy theorists. Here's, here's how we we'll tell them we killed him, we got all this shit, and then we dumped him yeah. in the sea. Well, I'm, their I'm, personal I'm, vendetta is against Alex Jones, and they were out to fuck him, so they threw that book out there. I'm, I'm willing to bet you could take anything and turn it into a, a, a tool for mind control. Like you could, you know, you could read, you know, like a small poem, or, you know, and, and if you do it enough times, you know, the, the, the reiteration of it. Trump's a racist. Rah, rah, rah. Well, I don't know. Fantasia's got a lot of symbolism in it. Yeah, yeah, Fantasia's great. Yeah. Initiation. Visualized. That animation well, yeah, is it's, beautiful. And you can, and with something with, with animation, it's colorful enough. If you slow it down, if you speed it up. Oh, I've been mind controlled by so much animation. Right. Everything's mind controlled. The animation is special. It's what twenty four. I was born in 1985, and I was born in, and I was raised in front of cable TV. Like I'm literally an MK Ultra victim, just waiting to be activated. Well, when you sit in the theater and watch a color candidate. animation, the frame rates put you into a suggestion state. And that's why once di- once this new Disney uh, app releases like all the Disney afternoon cartoons that I was raised on. Like Darkwing Duck, <laughs> it's just gonna trigger the shit out of me. Once I see Rescue Rangers coming at me, who knows? I might go assassinate something. We don't know. Uh, <laughs> by the way, what do you think of the the animated uh, the excuse me anime He Man that's gonna be coming out? I've heard something. Isn't Kevin Smith involved with this? Yeah, yeah. Heard? Netflix. I don't know. I mean, I, I'll watch it. I'll check it out as long as it's in Japanese and sub. They made a Shira one. <laughs> They did subtitles. She-Ra. I know they redid She-Ra, but was it anime? I haven't watched it. Yeah, well, I didn't watch that it. That was my it's issue. With, that was my issue with Castlevania. Like I enjoyed Castlevania, but oh, I just I want. I wish it was like they did like a Japanese version. Give me some Japanese oh, with subtitles. <laughs> oh no! Come on. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's, how, that's how it's. That's, that's how I can see it is different animation uh, now. Even um, uh, Seven Deadly Sins, I think was was oh, adapted. Sorry. Like to English speaking, mm-hmm. from what I noticed, for the most part. Yep, yeah, but the Japanese have still are having like original ideas. Like I'll yeah. give them credit for that. Like it's just been like I mean, all due respect to people who like Marvel movies. I stopped watching them about it about eight years ago. I just, <laughs> they're just so mm-hmm. formulaic and like they they don't take any risks. Like nothing really rocks the boat. Seems like you have to kind of look around to find some more, you know. Yeah, and that's, content. yeah. Well, I, that's it. They're they're nice popcorn money making <laughs> blockbuster appeal to the masses. Put it out there, and everybody's gonna go. You know, it's it works like that. They could run these stories with these huge effects, and yeah. and it's like yeah, I like enjoy the Matrix, them. 
you know, was one of those movies, but oh, you know, man. they actually tried to make that, you know, like they, Matrix, they yeah, Matrix did some... like yeah, changed the game. Like I'm yep. not saying every movie it has to be as good as the Matrix. What do you think like, about the fourth one? They... Movies from like the late. Yeah, I just I didn't even yeah. know that was a. They thing. just that just happened. The yeah. what? Yeah, the Matrix, new Matrix four. coming out. Yeah, no way. <laughs> It, it has to be Keanu Reeves, right? Oh, yeah, it yeah, is. And, yeah. And uh, Carrie Ann. Carrie Ann uh, Moss, yep, yeah, yeah. She signed on, too. Oh, dude. Man, I remember. Man, that, there's only a few movies where I've gone multiple times back to a theater to watch it, and that was definitely one of them yeah, in the was, late 90s. And uh, that 99. was so groundbreaking at the time. There's no yeah. way it's good. At the time, for good. sure, like for a long time, it was like the best. See, movie the sequels kind of suck either. though. But but I also yeah. haven't yeah. watched. I haven't rewatched the sequels since I was like 17. So they They're may be good, good actually. They they get honestly they get better like <laughs> over time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like I, I enjoyed them more rewatching them. The Wachowski the brothers. Year, so. Yeah, dude, they fucking sisters. 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 Yeah, they changed yeah, genders and. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what's funny is like the the end credits of that movie when it was on netflix obviously yeah. had with Kowski brothers and the end credits but the um no. netflix, the netflix info pulls them up as the siblings siblings Which, yeah Which was, yeah that's all right because yeah. yeah. one of them one of that's them cool. went, like had the transition and then the other one didn't for a long time and then i guess got it later so <laughs> for a while transition. they were just siblings and then i think now they're both sisters so like at a certain point they were a different gender and now they're the same gender again when, when you say to me the siblings i envision Tiffany, michelle i, I envision <laughs> i envision the twins from the shining you know yeah okay the siblings <laughs> you know siblings come play with us neo you know oh man yeah, I, I just I don't know what they're gonna do with the fourth one though. I mean, I thought they wrapped everything up pretty he nicely. The key master or something, right? The <laughs> like, key master. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. What they should do is they find out that that the Zion and that where they think they are that's out of the matrix. It was just was another the matrix. It's just another layer of the AI uh, that controls everything. Yep, yep. Yeah. No, uh, it's not AI. Were, it's humans. Uh, Oh, it's human. <laughs> it's humans that control it. <laughs> that would be amazing. It's made yeah. out of people. Sorry. It's made out of people. Yes. Sorry. I reverted <laughs> to Phil Hartman from Saturday Night Live. Sorry. You went so crazy. You <laughs> thought you were in a, an alternate universe. Soylent Green is people. You're um, fucked up. Shut up, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I'm sorry. When when I think Saturday Night Live nowadays, I I can't stop myself from thinking of uh, Chris <laughs> Farley. You know, yeah. I'm an old man who lives down in a, by the river. You know that one. In a band, in a no. band down by yeah. the river. Yeah, the, the motivational speaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was but great. Everyone's quiet. This and the cork strange. soakers. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because they kept flubbing the lines. They're like, how long have you been sorking corks? And, you know, no, they didn't screw up in the lines. It was just awkward. It's <laughs> just awkward. It was Jan Jackson, I think. So, uh, so, my, my all time favorites, anything with like Goslin, uh, Kate Goslin uh, and Kate McKinnon, because it's like she's on a mission to make him laugh. <laughs> that's like when Will Farrell was on. Right. <laughs> You know what I do with my lover? The <laughs> him and Rachel Dratch in the hot tub, and oh god! Ugh. Why do they always get the ugliest? I have not seen Omar that yet. show in so long. I forgot it was still on. Is it? Yeah, uh, I, I guess would it assume still it's still on. on. I never watch it. Forty <laughs> years? It's not been on the air. Maybe yeah. fifty. <clears throat> well, it's over thirty at this point. Wow. The only thing that's worthwhile anymore is Weekend Update. Weekend update. It's, it's been coming up that anymore. It was only a few years after the Apollo landing, so it's coming up on its. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just, I, yeah, I, I just, I can't. I kick it on Netflix and uh, and Hulu with Naruto, and uh, let's see what else. Hell yeah, Obito. Uh, uh, I started another one, which is kind of old, but it's um. Uh, Gundam Zero Zero, nice. Yeah, yeah. and then uh, James, you got to watch Attack on Titan. 
You're gonna love uh, Attack I'll get on the, Titan. Oh, the new ones came out. I think. Like, oh, yeah. Well, man, yeah. Dude. Last yeah. Season. I'm almost. Done I have not that. That ventured that yet. My son's always like, you gotta watch it. It's dude, I've watched like almost three seasons in like a the week. The hype is real. Yeah, it, it's totally real. It's it's crazy. And then awesome. I always hear about this One Piece thing, and then uh, then people are like, "Don't bother. Only watch like some one season or something of it." And then, All right, man. Which is like 800 episodes. <clears throat> or okay, something. I'm gonna tell you right now. One piece is that's a, this is one of these things that you need to go into where you're like fuck it I don't really care about life anymore oh I'm gonna God, I'm, go, no I'm gonna try to just absorb this thing and then you're gonna start this crazy little adventure that seems like this joke story about this rubber man who wants to be king of the pirates and then by the end of it you're gonna be on a roller coaster of emotions and it's gonna blow your mind. And you're gonna meet crazy people, and it just it's gonna take you into crazy worlds. And Oda's just one of the best fucking manga artists out there, and it's yeah. a crazy story. But it's it's something you have to. It's it's like a heroin addiction, you know. A it's lot like, of do I, Yeah. You're do I want to get in on this? Do I really want to do this to myself? Yeah. Because right now it, I'm at the it, point where I'm reading the. Uh, because it's it hasn't ended in like the past twenty years, so like I read the oh manga, God. I read the manga weekly. Opera. Yeah, it's still going on, and I read the manga weekly and watch yeah, the anime I'm, weekly. And I'm just you know venturing into this whole anime it's stupid. aspect. It's just and, stupid. You know, but I'm, I'm, I've gone deep for a little while, and, and uh, yeah, my wife every time she walks in, I'm like, "What the fuck <laughs> are you watching, dude?" She's like. This is getting a little weird. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> See, my wife, my wife has that that kind of threshold with me. Yeah, because I yeah. watch a bunch of weird shit. Because yeah. okay, the, a Netflix was it Netflix or Amazon? No, it was Amazon. They came out with this mini series about Bob Fosse, right? Mm. Called Fosse Vernon about okay. him and his wife, and it was Sam Rockwell and uh, Michelle Williams, right? Yeah, and, and I love Sam I Rockwell had, and everything. <laughs> Sam Rockwell is awesome in everything he does. When he was in Iron Man 2, like I mean my favorite was Moon. I loved him in Moon where he played like eight Moon. different versions of himself at the same time. <laughs> well yeah. no because he had to he was he was playing his his own clone. So okay. there's like any eight of him at any given time. Confessions of a Dangerous Mind he was good in too. Con oh no, he was uh, cuz um Hitchhiker's Guide um yep. trying to remember what else he was in um confessions of dangerous oh, mind was awesome Quest. though galaxy oh Quest. that's oh, right yeah. he was in galaxy yeah, Quest. Yep. i forgot yep. about that he was Great. the red shirt but uh but anyway so i watched this mini series and my wife she's like what the fuck are you watching and i said oh it's about bob fossey she goes just don't say anymore and walked out of the room <laughs> Cause did she wave jazz hands when she left? Like, no, no. Don't talk to me. I, I tried to do, get her to do that shit, but she don't. You know. Um, but and so watching that, I re and in the in the miniseries they have, uh, you know, because Roy Scheider was in a movie about Bob Fosse called All That Jazz, All directed that jazz, right? Okay. Directed by Bob Fosse. So they're showing that they're they're reenacting these scenes of Sam Rockwell directing quote unquote Roy Scheider. Who's played by the guy from Hamilton? What's Hamilton? You know the play Hamilton, the uh, a play, musical. That's, that's play. the one where remember like a little bit ago the the, the, was it, the uh, somebody or he went on a tirade or something. One of the guys went on a tirade about Trump a little while back in Hamilton, the, the musical or something. Yeah, the the guy's name is yeah. Lin Lin Manuel Miranda, and he. <laughs> Because I know he was in uh, the the new Mary Poppins because my kid made me watch that. I'm sorry, uh, I yeah, but, haven't but, seen uh, that. <laughs> what's her faces in it? Uh, Emma, Emily Blunt. <clears throat> Emily Blunt. She's fucking hot. I would sop her up with a biscuit. Mm -hmm. I would <laughs> sop her up with a biscuit. Would you um, know? So but, that's. I mean, that you can watch. Let's watch. So so I rewatched all that jazz with the director's uh, with the director's commentary, and it made the movie worse. Like, you know, oh, because it, it was the assistant director who was also the editor. And I'm like, is there one ounce of useful commentary in this whole thing? You know, because it says that Roy Scheider is supposed to be doing commentary, but there's no Roy Scheider doing commentary. I'm like, what the hell? Anyway, sorry. <laughs> 
I have tons of shit like that though, James, where my wife will be like, I don't know what the fuck you're watching. I don't want to see it though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I have better stuff to watch than I've never listened to DVD comments. I don't have a DVD player. I've never listened to any of those, those audio tracks. <laughs> oh, like the, like, well, I, I think, yeah, not, it's not like we're buying fucking the, uh, I would listen to like Rick and Morty ones. That would be cool. Like the director commentary or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. God, I haven't I'm gotta trying, listen to the Lord of the Rings one if anyone's a fan. That's gotta be good. Yeah, that's right. incredible. I don't have a DVD player or any DVDs. So. I saw I saw a headline. I didn't read the article about um not Lord of the Rings, but uh the 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 Game of Thrones where the dude was like the fucking show like ruined my book. <laughs> like <laughs> Oh, George Martin. George, George Martin. Martin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't. He can't say that because he hasn't even released the books. The like, books, right? Yeah. He he's, he shouldn't be one to talk. He's enjoying his life in the spotlight. Yeah. I don't who, blame him. Who is George R. R. Martin? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. He got his picture on shit. He's happy. Right. That's what I said. That, that's what popped up. I'm like, oh, that dude. And then he it said something about him, like yeah, about it ruined it. Like the show fucking ruined his. Book, right, that's why whatever. he's working on the sequel. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. Whatever. If he if he flees to Sri, Sri Lanka, then you know he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's done. Yeah. But yeah, man, I don't. Oh. I mean, with like the show as successful as it is, and all the publicity stuff he does, and all the attention he gets, like, who wants to then go and like sit in a basement for the next five years and just crank out a book like that? Like, he has no incentive to do it at this point. No. No, I mean, because they'll, they'll create whatever they want. I would, I would think. I mean, unless I don't know. He's like George Lucas. Yeah, because I mean, obviously, they're probably they read these the book, whatever, whatever versions out, and then had their uh, powwow meeting, directors meeting, and come up with a script. And mm. yeah, you hear about like actually the. Uh, but but writing sequels to Game of Thrones, like writing the sequels to it and the, the sequels, yeah. it's a lot easier when you have this base, this foundation to start from. Your next book is going to take place in the same settings, which people should be familiar with, right? It's a yeah. lot easier to craft a story around a plot that way. Now, coming up from scratch with a new series, I mean, which I'm sure HBO has optioned already. Right, they'll do like a spin off of whatever. Yeah, like, well, we were talking earlier about these superhero things, and like, my one of the ones that one that got me basically in the whole Netflix verse, like, where I was almost gonna like can Netflix because there was nothing ever on it, was what, what, what the superhero thing was, uh, was Daredevil Marvel, and uh. Because it, it was so dark and crazy and different and edgy, and and, and like the first season of Daredevil, it's it, and the, that's what like really kicked it off. Like I thought you were talking about the one with uh, the one from the early two thousands, like for ben, ben Affleck one. <laughs> ben Affleck. No, 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 no. The new one. Like, <laughs> no oh way, gosh. dude. Oh, that's fucking <laughs> stupid. So yeah. I just looked it up. There, the HBO is working on a prequel series. Inspired by previous works called The Song of Ice and Fire Books. So, okay. And it may end up with one or more spinoff shows. Did you guys ever watch the Bakshi cartoon, Fire and Ice? That was a good movie. Fire and Ice. Maybe. Yeah. Lots of rotoscoping going on there. Bakshi, would, Bakshi loved his, his rotoscoping. His Hobbit's really good. Oh, uh, Lord of the Rings, yeah. He actually, he didn't do The Hobbit. I don't know who, I don't remember who did The Hobbit, but yeah, he did Hobbit Lord of the Rings. Good. I'm sorry. Lord of the Rings one was good. Yeah. Where he's got the like humans that he traced over you know some of the some of the monsters the orcs yeah. are, are humans that he filmed and then traced over yeah the road the rotoscoping that's yeah, beautiful yeah. yeah i love it let's see if this works let's see if we can get into an ancient history uh i was, just gonna, I was looking up okay, one Jerry's t-shirt mayo Fails paintings for 
Since Felix isn't around, you know, we gotta play a jingle to the fullest. We haven't done a jingle in a while like that. Should have been a story or a I share should. a memory. Oh man, I should, God, I should get that. One <laughs> that would have been good. We should get them all going. I just, I'm, I know. I just, I miss doing all the jingles. They were so. Me too. They were they get they stuck were, in my head. I love mm -hmm. them. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, I don't mm -hmm. even know if I could find that. I was trying to kill time until I could find the the file, but it's just <laughs> that's totally not happening. I can't remember. <laughs> that's let's totally talk, uh, not happening. In history, not. then. Yeah, let's yeah, let's do some of that. Yeah. Let's do a little, so, did you uh, everyone? Did everyone do their homework? Like I asked. Yeah, I don't do homework. Oh, I wasn't there's, here. There's gonna be a quiz. What was it again? Yeah. It's homework. What was the assignment? What was the homework? I'm just kidding. There was no homework. Yeah, because I don't remember. Uh, you. but. Uh, we talked a little bit about uh, those fires last week, how crazy they were. Yeah. And I actually fire. pulled a fire. excerpt from uh, a link that I found that's a firsthand account of this town reverend. Um, and this is taking place in Peshtigo, Wisconsin, in October 8th, 1871. Um, so just a little bit of background. Last episode, we talked about how there were a bunch of insane fires between like the mid 1800s and the early 1900s that kind of made everything look rebelized oh, kind of yeah, speculated right. on what might have gone on um, in that period of time for the fires to have caused that much damage um, so i thought what i'd do is read a, a couple excerpts from this account of this fire uh, supposedly they said everything was made of wood but if you look at the pictures yeah. There's tons of stone. It's almost all stone. It seems yeah. like, and you don't see any burned down buildings. Well, you don't, but you don't see way. the like, houses though. That's like the no. downtown. Yeah, what and if, like, what about for the houses? Uh, there's honestly, like, I've looked at a lot of photos of these fires, and I, I don't really see many houses. It usually takes place in major cities. Um, but oh this, yeah, it's supposed to be the downtowns, huh? Yeah, but this one was a smaller town. This Peshtigo place. Um, so let me see if I can find more information on Pishtigo. Ah, it's not really that important, but it, I will say that it did occur on the same day as the great Chicago fire. Um, so that's that a little bit of coincidence. Yeah. Well, I, I've, heard, uh, I've, I've heard information about that, uh, being from possible asteroid impacts or like breaking up. Cause, uh, wasn't that one fire, is that somewhere in Michigan? There was another town that burnt down at the same exact time. I this is the one. Uh, one in Wisconsin. Yeah, this is the yeah, one that's about. the one. Yeah, okay, that's that's the yeah. town. So All this right. is an account that I found from that fire, and I just want you to kind of pay it, like, just listen to this and tell me if this sounds like a regular fire uh, to to me, because it doesn't sound like one. So I'll start here. Quote: I perceived above the dense cloud of smoke overhanging the earth a vivid red reflection of immense extent, and then suddenly struck on my ear, strangely audible in the preternatural silence reigning around a distant roaring yet muffled sound announcing that the elements were in commotion somewhere. All were struggling alike in the grasp of the hurricane. A thousand discordant deafening noises rose on the air together. The neighing of horses, falling of chimneys, crashing of uprooted trees, roaring and whistling of the wind, crackling of fire as it ran with lightning, like rapidity from house to house. All sounds were there save that of the human voice. People seemed stricken dumb by terror. The flames darted over the river as they did over the land. The air was full of them, or rather the air itself was on fire. Our heads were in continual danger. It was only by throwing water constantly over them and our faces, beating the river with our hands, that we kept the flames at bay. Uh, let's move, uh, skip ahead a little bit. I re-entered to seek the chalice, which had not been placed in the tabernacle, when a strange and startling phenomenon met my view. It was at a cloud of sparks that blazed up here and there with a sharp detonating sound like that of powder exploding flew from room to room. I understood then that the air was saturated with some special gas, and I could not help, help thinking if this gas lighted up from mere contact with a breath of hot wind, what would it be when fire would actually come in contact with it? The hour of deliverance from the prison of fire and water had not yet arrived. The struggle was not yet over. A lady who remained beside me since we had first taken to the river, and who, like all others, had remained silent till then, asked me, 
Father, do you not think this is the end of the world? I do not think so, was my reply. But if other countries are burned as ours seem to have been, the end of the world, at least for us, must be at hand. Um, and then just a couple of other comments that were kind of interesting um, of houses, trees, fences that I'd looked on three days ago, nothing would ever remain, save a few blackened posts still standing. The iron tracks of the railroad had been twisted and curved into all sorts of shapes, whilst the wood which had supported them no longer existed. The trunks of mighty trees had been reduced to mere cinders. Uh, all around these trunks, I perceived a number of holes running downwards deep into the earth. They were sockets where the roots had lately been. I plunged my cane into one of them, thinking what must the violence of that fire have been, which ravaged not only the surface of the earth, but penetrated so deeply into its bosom. I, then I turned my wondering gaze in the direction where the town had lately stood, but nothing remained to point out its site except the boilers of two locomotives, the iron of the wagon wheels, and the brick and stonework of the factory. I mean, there's so this goes on for a long time. How, uh, how corpses, did it bend the the iron? Yeah, uh, here's the another one. Super heat. Strange to say, there were many corpses found, bearing about them no traces of scars or burns. Yet in the pockets of their habiliments, equally uninjured watches, scents, and other articles in metal were discovered completely melted. Most frequently, the torn of fire passed at a certain height from earth, touching only the most elevated portions. Thus, no one could meet it standing erect without paying the penalty of almost instantaneous death. Here's my favorite part. When the hurricane burst upon us, many, surprised and terrified, ran out to see what was the matter. A number of these persons assert that they then witnessed a phenomenon which may be classed with the marvelous. They saw a large black object resembling a balloon which object revolved in the air with great rapidity, advancing above the summits of the trees towards the house, which it seemed to single out for destruction. Barely had it touched the ladder when the balloon burst with a loud report, like that of a bombshell, and at the same moment, rivulets of fire streamed out in all directions. Jesus. Yeah. Wow. What happened there? <laughs> Was that the cause or the aftermath? This was just during, like this reverend. Uh, so survived. the fire started out of nowhere, and then they saw this black balloon in the middle of it, or somewhere else in the air. Uh, I this was that particular section was later in the account. Hmm. So um, it's like I some don't wild know. firestorm or something just came ripping through. Well, what there. about like, all the methane thing? gas and stuff that's in the or the natural gas and meth? Didn't they have some rivers that were? Uh, that had explosions and were on fire, and it was methane gas coming up. Yeah, that would make sense why the people would die. A meteor exploding in midair, you know, above the ground would be like a black balloon that explodes, right? Yeah, maybe. They were, kinda, yeah. Honestly, it gives me like a War of the Worlds vibe. <laughs> it does. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, not, so. That's crazy. Fair. Yeah, it's a. It's and it an happened the same the same day as the Chicago fire. Same day as the Chicago fire. So I would imagine that like people some shenanigans were going on. Yeah, Similar something was definitely going on. And the, the proximity between the two was very small. And what year was this? 18... 1871. 1871. October 5th, was it? October. 5th. Uh let's see. It almost sounds like a spaceship. That's what I'm saying. War of the Worlds. Yeah. October eighth. Or maybe this. Uh, weren't they working on like crazy flying machines back then and shit? Wasn't wasn't wild stuff? That was like then? Well, Sonora Air Club, I think. Yeah. Was yeah. Like, yeah. Decades later, I think that was like eighteen ninety seven or eighteen ninety eight. Um, yeah, they didn't even have cars. So these guys were, you know, horse bound. Right. Hmm. Right. That we know. Who knows? But that just. <laughs> I don't even think the railroads weren't even that big. Yeah, they just said they had railroads. <laughs> they had. They yeah. it, but it wasn't until like the uh they weren't across the country probably van, van buren not van buren the uh vanderbilts really built up the railroad system yeah what were there like three or six railroads there was only one for a while what if this is just some like crazy phenomenon that happens randomly and throughout then the NAFTA earth came in. <laughs> and just like just just wildfire explosions happen, and that's just what causes all the wildfires around the world. Well, I mean, there can be electricity just, in the air, you know that. Yeah, but it doesn't burn. Uh, static just electricity, no, but it would make sense for the popping. And <laughs> I mean, very, there could be there are explanations, but to have it all happen at one time, 
and well, then the whole and people being that there are counts of people being dead but being essentially like having no burns and then like watches and stuff and metal in their pockets were melted completely like that sounds like yeah that kind of i mean i could like see if there was like radiation a... or like oh yeah that's true some kind of some kind of electromagnetic radiation or... gamma rays I mean, Memories. it could be a Invisible natural rays. gas. I mean, it could be a bunch of stuff. The survivors are all hulks. <laughs> so, you know, turning it up a notch a little bit to to kind of go into more speculative. Oh realms. yes, let's do it. Uh, let's get cool. Let's get crazy. Crazy. Was, was there a reset of civilization in the United States uh, between, like, post, like? basically the entire period of time of like a hundred years eh, starting from like pre-civil war all the way through the early 1900s was it just mass slaughter and reset in the united states there's the orphan trains Cataclysm. orphan trains oh let's talk about those orphan trains so is that like all these crazy like like uh, so basically they just ship children in from britain from these orphanages like shipped yeah. hundreds and hundreds what? like thousands they ship thousands hundreds of children yeah hundreds, hundreds of, thousands of thousands of, and put them on the like, trains and just sent them out west Repopulation. You how many people were killed in the war how many yeah how many exactly. uh, children were left without mothers and fathers we really and... don't know what happened in like the entire 1800s no, i don't. feel like it's very sketchy and shady like history kind of started oh, like wait, once woodrow wilson yeah, yeah this is yeah so this is all 1800s so here it is from wiki um this is so this is the official position uh during the 1850s there were thousands of children living on the streets of several major cities these children were in search of food shelter and money and sold rags matches and newspapers just to survive the children formed gangs for protection um, the orphan train movement was a supervised <laughs> welfare program that transported orphaned and homeless children from crowded eastern cities of the United States to foster homes located largely in rural areas of the Midwest. The orphan trains operated between 1854 and 1929, relocating about 200,000 of orphaned, abandoned, abused, or homeless children. So this wasn't this wasn't trying to. It doesn't really seem like a post-war <laughs> early project paper this was, No, no. I mean, this, <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it is like it's, it's, it's the newsies, all those newsies kids that are just barking. Sex trafficking rings. What what time oh, frame geez. was this? 1850s. Like 18s? Okay. Well, two hundred thousand over. It went from eighteen fifty to nineteen twenty nine. So that's like eighty years almost. Like two hundred thousand over. I mean, that's still a lot of people. And saved by the depression, right? Yeah. <laughs> saved. Man, yeah, exactly. Saved. Um, so like where how were their parents were, were the parents killed in these fires were they killed in some kind of reset were they just sort of reset? i thought they were mostly single mothers or something that no they're kids no no that these or are they just coming from the brothels girls would get in trouble and yeah like brothels think, and think about the um think about new york city when is it 1850 you said <clears throat> yeah. there's so many immigrants coming in Mm -hmm. you know, parents may have died on board, you know, or whatever. They're just yeah, they're just yeah. In, the, in the trick. Yeah. There's well, no yeah, and, good uh -huh. contraception at all. Right. So people are just dropping babies. And, yeah, and death is pretty frequent during childbirth back um, then too. Exactly. So yeah. I can totally see it. Yeah. Yeah. And the good, the good <sighs> ones, the the street smart ones, make it. And the other ones don't. Yeah. And that's why there's pictures of these kids in the 1800s with like their caps on, smoking cigarettes when they're like 11 <laughs> and nine years old, working in the coal mines. It's like yeah, you're a middle, you were a middle aged man at that point. You've already experienced all this shit. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, you had like a bunch of stuff, uh, like art literature from that time too, like or like boxcar children. Yeah, sure I read that. I read those books uh, when I was a kid. The Boxcar Kids or the Boxcar Little Orphan children. Annie, <laughs> mm -hmm. Anne of Green Gables, I think, also involved some kind of slave trade or like just sort of like buying orphans. Like I think that was just kind of a thing back then, as people just sort of like got orphans from time to time. Yeah, and it's not so, your kid. Yeah, that's crazy. You can abuse it. I mean, even if there's nothing nefarious around why does something like that happen? I mean, you think about like how that affected their society. Like, you know, I mean, you think about people now, like, you know, not knowing their heritage, like you then you get to that period of time and it gets even more jumbled up. Oh, yeah. You know nothing. You're just born into the world and then it's like survive. You just survive now. You have no time to even think about or philosophize about anything. 
Like, we're, we're spoiled as fuck. We could sit around and just think about conspiracies and shit. Like, we don't have to worry about, okay, I'm going to go out and... Where am I eating next? We don't have to go where get our s- food. Yes, where am I sleeping tonight? Some where scratch. am I eating? Little newspapers and sing yeah. little songs. Uh-huh. Yeah. Christian Bale. <laughs> yes, exactly. 1850s was the Crimean so War. Uh... Yeah, the crime. Yeah, it was 1950s was turbulent decade, with such as the Crimean War shifted and shook European politics as well as the colonization towards the Far East, which also sparked conflicts like the Second Opium War. At the time, oh yeah, the pretty United, much everyone yeah. in that period of yeah. time was like people talk about world wars, but like when you go back to that period of time, almost every single civilization in that period of time had a war against someone. It just dude, it seems like it. Global like global during war. yeah, so fit eight yeah fifty four to fifty six was a Crimean War. It was Imperial Russia and the alliance consisting of the UK of Great Britain and Ireland and the Second French Empire, the Kingdom of Sardinia and the Ottoman Empire. The majority of conflicts take place around Crimea and the north coast of the Black Sea. And then, then uh, in 1856, it was the Opium War. Tartaria. Which, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, Tartaria. dude? Well, that was yes, that might be where this Opium War thing... So it was like the between several Western powers and China begins the arrow incident on the Pearl River. Hmm. I looked that arrow thing up. I'm not sure what that one was. Well, then you got to think too. Like during that orphan train period is also the <laughs> Spanish flu, the influenza. Okay. Yeah. The yeah, the migration of it. Like. Yeah. Well, during that, so it's 1850. Yeah. They say 1850 to 1929. So during that period of time, right. there would have been a few of those pandemics, those influenza <clears throat> outbreaks. Just. I think they're going to get a uh, shit flu in fucking San Francisco soon. They already had typhoid. Yeah, yeah it's typhoid. gonna. There's gonna be like a fucking uh, what we what do you call it? A um, yeah, like like a uh, an outbreak, a, uh, an outbreak, an epidemic, an outbreak. Yeah, like a, a, a whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're like, well, what does Doctor Drew call it? A uh, um, I don't know. Pandemic. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Just sure. an outbreak of whatever. Yeah. Whatever disease. Yeah. Like, oh, like uh, the new um, uh, plague, yeah, like a plague. Oh, yeah, dude. Plague's coming. Yeah. The, the new plague. Yeah. I mean, you got locusts first... were already in Las Vegas. What were they saying? Like, is it... <laughs> the rats come and then what, the, was, the... The... what was the stat? They, they, yeah. The, the, once the rats come, about, the like, fleas come like the half rats. of the homeless is in like fucking San Fran or in California. Oh, or something. dude, it's so gross. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's yeah. a lot. They're fucking yeah. everywhere. They're like rats. Yeah. It's because you guys have that. Don't believe it. Yeah. I know. I, I don't mean that to be mean. I know that. You live there. I feel bad for these <laughs> yeah. people. They don't have anywhere to go. They need to fucking help it them. It is weird, dude. Yeah, oh, it's like, so the, terrible. You know, you go out late at night and people are just milling around. Any type of, you know, place that has electricity or it's just Okay, I've got a horrible. hot take. I've got a hot take here. How many of these people want to be homeless, though? That they're just like, oh, yeah, I think a lot of people do want to be homeless. A lot of I don't think everybody does, especially the ones that like get to hang out on the beach and just eat tacos. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they, yeah, they, they, they have money and they're just doing it because, like, like, I mean, sure, there's there's part of that. I'm sure they there's, have money. There's, a lot of it's all about drugs and, and and dependency, and they're all fucked up. And, like, and whatever, what you know, what better place to be homeless than fucking California? I would imagine. But I think a lot of people don't want to live by rules. They don't yeah. want to be in the system. Mm-hmm. Um, I th- I think there's a growing wall. What, yeah. what gets you to that point, though? Like, I mean, the I guess we're just like if you don't like that, but like, yeah, I, like I mean, it, it is if, a if you want to be homeless, life, you but... should have to just go out into the forest and be homeless. Like, you shouldn't interfere with regular society then. <laughs> I don't know, but that's just beef steak. Just said, uh, beef steak says, says put them in concentration camps. No, no, I never said anything <laughs> about camps. <laughs> it's a beautiful forest. Like, you could do what you want out there. You could live off yeah, the land. Just walk around in the woods, get poison yeah, ivy. Cool. Like that's you. what they do out here in, in <laughs> oh, Arkansas. Dude, they all live in the woods. That's why my mountain bike got stolen. They just steal mountain bikes yeah. and hang out. Uh, they steal your, your fucking bike. Forest yeah, folk. Yeah. There you go. That's a resourceful homeless guy. Respect. Sure was. I'm sorry about your bike. 
Let's get, yeah. go, let's, was, let's, get well, a, let's get a GoFundMe. Wasn't it a dino? He bust a black joke, but the classic, like, what they, uh, what the black kid get for Christmas? Your bike. Yeah. Oh, come on, <laughs> come on. They actually, the the police know who did it. Mm. Um, they this guy apparently steals bikes quite a bit. Oh, um, do you have a resident <laughs> bike thief around? Well, the, the, well, bike thief. Like, Here's the story that part of the story I don't understand because this guy was telling me that they actually found him on my bike, like riding my don't bike. Don't believe around. the five point six. Don't but they didn't arrest no. him. So he's an informant. That's why. Oh, yeah, yeah, he he's a, yeah. <laughs> a CIA <The> liaison. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, dude, um, that guy. Yeah, he gets the dirt on your bike. <laughs> on, <laughs> he was riding. He's got he your bike. His, apparently, he scratched the serial numbers off and everything. Too. Oh god. Yeah. Was it a good bike? Yeah, it was like I had bought it brand new. It was like two weeks old. Oh, yeah. that's the worst. Oh, that's yeah. the So, what was it? Ma- was, it a, a- was it a mongoose? Was it <laughs> yeah. a mongoose? Was it a mongoose? performer? Do you have a Huffy? It was a Schwinn. A, a, Schwinn. Schwinn. a dino. A mountain Schwinn. Oh. A mountain Schwinn? Man, that's a nice bike. For the Those were the best bikes. Man. Diamondback? The di- oh, my God. You know, I if was you want to get a Diamondback. Uh, no way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you want to get in some bike chats? You talk to Spangly Spuns in the chats. He's he's all about yeah, his bikes. Same with Felix, dude. <laughs> Felix and his bikes. Oh yeah, he knows yeah, his dude. bikes, dude. Yeah. I used to have a Yamaha 250 Trials. What? Man, yeah. we, did it have a power band on it? <laughs> no, I don't think so. That's, oh that's man, that'll tree, kick though. it into a little extra gear for you, right? We need to uh, play another. Power jingle. band was dope. Because <laughs> Felix, because Felix isn't here, we need to play another jingle. Just to get some mm. music in here. I need to find a. We're gonna play the cryptozoology segment jingle. Yes, James. Yes. Crypto. James, pull up some. Uh, crypto. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude, let's do it. Let me, yeah. Oh. Oh, if I can even find it. this. If I could find this jingle. You can find it. Oh, let's I have. See. I just found the tw- the 2018 Cryptid Con song what that Felix the... uh, wrote. Felix dude. Made... Oh my God! I just typed in 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 a. I don't know. For some reason, my my Google thing, pull it, my Google browser pulls up Yahoo all the time now, and now it says the first thing that pull, that is in the trending now, Wachowski Brothers. Oh, <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap, dude! Yikes! Yeah, weird. We're bringing it back. We're bringing yeah. it back. Yeah, and Salma Hayek is second. <laughs> I don't know why, but. Uh, Wow! Way too many Weird. audio files on here. I don't know what anything is uh, called. Oh, by the way, I listened to my listening. first episode of Nox Mente with Jay Weedner. It was great. I, lo- I enjoyed the hell out of that interview. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that show is way better than our show. We gotta, we gotta. <laughs> no, no, they're two yeah. different shows. Well, yeah, they're totally different, 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 but like the, I mean, yeah, you have the star power, dude. No doubt about it. But uh. I don't know. I guess we get to talk about it here, and then you get to you get to go through it there. Yeah, but uh, yeah, and it's like Grim said earlier, like dude, fucking uh, going to the emails, hung out for a good portion of the uh, the other the other show, and I'll call in, dude. That's awesome. I do you get the call in things figured out? Y- yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, I'll call in that yeah. shit. I'll let people call in or Zoom. <clears throat> yeah, or Zoom. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah give if we me had, Zoom link. <laughs> we had three, five, three to five callers, 30 to 50 callers would be excellent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, three to five, three to six, five. Or just, you got a, you got a two minute time limit. Yeah. You know, we wanted half the show to be. Well, God, how long was this show? Like at least two, over two hours. Was it over uh, two? Or 50. Oh, okay. All right. And only because where I had to go is he, he was on babysitting duty. Right on. Yeah. But yeah, no, we really want to be more collecting stories than going, I, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I hear you. I, I, that, that's like a horrible thing when I listen back to these shows. I'm just like, uh, 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 never listen yeah, back. That's fucking sucks. Uh, uh, so you said goodbye, Flavor Tone. No, I know. What? I was just trying to trigger the chat. Who's leaving? <laughs> Just trying to see who's paying attention. Oh, oh uh, that guy. Get so, him. so for 
the Crypticon. Big things are coming for 2019. Hold on, hold Mark on. your calendars for September 7th, 8th through the 9th. Wait. You will not want to miss this one, which is because Cruising with Stakes is going to be there at a booth. Wait. Um, hold on. Yeah, what's up? Everything might be working now. Let's oh, do we have a fucking another this? drop? Yeah. Nobody can move. I don't know what that shit is. I'm not gonna go chase goofy interdimensional ape man. Come on, come on. Cruising, cruising, cruising with stay. Crypto, 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 zoology segmento. Cruising, cruising, cruising with stay. Crypto, 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 zoology segmento. Cruising, cruising, cruising with stay. Crypto, 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 zoology segment. Yeah. I, I skipped the whole cryptozoology phase. Oh, for real? Right, yeah, you don't believe in monsters? Currency. I don't know what that shit is. I'm not going to go chase some <laughs> goofy interdimensional ape men. Come on. They're obviously interdimensional. Come on. YOLO. Dude, they're just the robots of the greys. Oh, well, I would interdimensional. Shit around. Yeah. Oh, you think the greys are uh, little robots of the Bigfoot? Probably. Well, Bigfoots are probably projecting Ooh. reptilians into our brains to make us fearful. They're probably our overlords. I would totally believe that. They live in the hollow earth, controlling us from the underground. Totally. I think we just solved the mystery. This whole planet is controlled by Bigfoot. Yeah, and everyone on it is controlled by stupid stories about hollow earth and Bigfoot and E.T. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is the, the greatest. I love that jingle. Oh my god! It's <laughs> like a freeform cat odyssey. It's so it good. Oh man, I missed no man. That we missed him last night. I don't know what happened. Oh, his man. internet was out. The recording's what? Almost three years old now. Yeah, man, oh, that's man. old, it's, it's, dude. I have completely flipped on every one of those statements. I know you have. <laughs> that's so hilarious. That's why I'm laughing so hard. You gotta do it's an crazy. updated version. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, I love it. The one, the one where I trigger RPG though, that one's classic. Yes. Oh, so yeah. good. Uh, this this one right here. I think they're all in cahoots because space is fake. Space is fake. Space is fake. Yeah. It's weird because I, I like I wanna I wanna invite him back on, but I think like, I don't know. Like, nah, he's too far down. Uh, I don't know. He canceled my Nox Mente after after that. Yeah, yeah. but it, yeah. It, did he ever come on? I don't no, remember. No, no. Yeah. dude, he's too like dementia. He's too dementia B. He's too far. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, too he's far long gone, there. dude. I mean, I respect his opinion on everything paranormal, yeah. and it's great. I, I but... liked him on the last show on the Conspiracy Normal, uh, whatever they called that. The uh, the round it's like a round table. Oh, that fun. that woke in the nineties. I didn't listen to that. Yes, one which is yeah. really cool. I hope we get to go on the next one. <laughs> woke in the nineties. Maybe yeah. yeah. we'll do oh, it while we're cryptid con. Speaking yeah. of conspiracy normal, they're doing a conference called uh, right. the Strange Realities Conference in uh, in the middle That's of right. October. Strangerealities.com. Go and check that out. I Shout out to that. Adam and them. With everything for our booth, without a booth, I'll just spin yes. a sign out on the street. <sighs> <laughs> Can we hire some groupies to run the booth? I'll bring all your stickers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I just, that, that's going to be the best part, just not doing anything and just hanging out at the booth. <laughs> I don't know. And yeah, just, I don't want to see anybody I'm, talk. I, oh, I'm buying that thing that, um, uh, the uh, Zoom recorder? Uh, yeah. Recorder. Yes. It, well, it's a, uh, it's like a H2 something. Yeah, I'm buying this and it does video. No, um, Surfiel talked about it. QN something, whatever. I'm buying it, dude. It's like a hundred bucks. And uh, oh, right now, man. where I want one. Oh, I'm bringing it, dude. Yeah, it's fucking dope. I'll, I'll send you a link when I'm done. Oh, man. Hold on. Tell me now. Hold on. <laughs> uh, it's called a Q2N. Wait, QUN? Q number two N. 4k yeah. camera it, yeah it's well they have they look for the hundred dollar one uh it's like yeah and it's it goes off of like some site where you can buy a bunch of random shit well they, there's a cool little like package for like a couple bucks more well like 30 bucks more you can get all the little gadgets with it which is i think i'm gonna do 
<clears throat> and but I, I want to record, record all week and some or fun. something like this. Thank you. Yeah, right, dude. I all mean, week I, I've been looking. Yeah, it, dude, this is what you want. This thing is dope. And I looked at YouTube videos of it. It's sweet, dude. It, 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 yeah, like 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 you said, a lot of band people use it uh, for recording sessions and this and that, whatever. But um, it, it, it's really cool uh, product, and it, it sounds really good too. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna so play we'll the. I'm going to play the Cryptid Con 2018 intro song that Felix did for us last year. Oh my We're, God, I'm going to play that one right now. Here, here we go with that. I think that. Cryptid Con 2018. Who went to Cryptid Con? Nikki the Dune. James Cruz, Jerry Cthulhu, too. There was Ren and Bill Anderson. Can't forget about no. Grimstake and Leonidas. He's the one who invited us. Cryptid Con 2018. So we're in. That's so awesome. It's so cool, dude. Yeah. Oh, man. It's such a mind bender. Dude, we've been on a ride, dude. Oh, my God. We have been. We've been on a ride. Yeah, it's been a ride. And, and man, thanks to these audio gold, like, blasts from the past from Felix, dude. Shout out to you, dude. Miss you tonight, man. Yeah. Um, Getting the carpet done. I, I, I think, yeah, I was looking at like this lineup and I'm like, at first I'm like, man, there's like no one there, but now they actually extended a little bit more. Yeah. They're a lot like us where it's very last minute, you know, just kind of let's, yes. let's slap yeah. it together Dave, as we James go. James Faye, Bobo, uh, Cliff Brackman. Yeah. I mean, really, it's, uh, I don't really care about the speakers. Just go to the site, all. dude. But, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm, speak- I'm just, I'm more concerned oh, about know. meeting up with the family. Just Politis, I, I think Bill Bill keeps talking about he's got something in store for Politis. Like he's gonna try to get kicked out or something. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'll I have know. it. On Bill's film. Bill's the handler though, and he needs to bring the bail money. So that's all I know. <laughs> bring bail money for Bill. Jay said he uh, might be going. So oh, Jeff Jay White. Oh, really? That's our connection. Yeah. Man, he could hook us up with a lot of cool guests and try to convince people he to come. Colorado, he could hook up some hook us up with some good weed. Oh man, oh, there we go. <laughs> There we go. Dude, we'll need yeah, the he's pens, good we'll need things. Oh, a little that's bit of this, everything I'll be that. covered there. Everything's fine there. Things are going to be good. Uh, it's going to be fine. So we're, yeah, he couldn't believe I've how been, cheap the hotel was. I've he's been like, collecting Dang. stockpiles over the past couple weeks. So things will be okay. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, stockpiles of what? Of things. What? Of stuff. gifts and things. Stuff. Oh, Everything's going to be good. Do you need the money? Don't worry about <laughs> things. We'll talk <laughs> at the con. We'll talk at the con. It's gonna be a great kind of, kind of. Seth Breedlove's gonna be there. Oh, I, I, we, I got it. Yeah, we gotta get him on. Yeah, uh, he's in Ohio, dude. Um, I don't know, but anyway, that just some of the speakers there. But yeah, we're gonna be hanging out, man. So if you feel like you're up to it, make the trek to uh, yeah, go on to know, Lexington. What, where the fuck is that at? Lexington, Lexington, Kentucky, beginning of September. So are you guys gonna come two, two weeks to the Strange Realities Conference? Possible. Oh, yeah, there's a good poss- yeah. There's a good chance I may. I really want to. Just, I haven't yeah, really thought good. Of, I mean, I thought about it. I think about it, but I gotta figure it out. <laughs> it's like it's like you could leave Saturday night, or you could come in Saturday morning. Yeah, it's only Sunday. one day, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. You don't even really need a hotel. True. I just need a floor. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, or a car. You're just like a car. Only, you sleep in a fucking car. I don't even it's care. It's only four hours for me to Nashville. So, yeah, I mean, from, I can drive from you, I think it's like an eight or nine hour for me. Yeah, it's a far trip. But yeah, yeah, you're, you're not going to want to turn. Nashville you're not going to want to leave me. that yeah. night and go, all right, I'm, see you guys. I'm not, but if I had a family that I had to get back to. Like, honestly, uh, sure. if I'm, like I might even look at plane there. tickets. <laughs> I could just soar in real quick. Soar in and soar out. Soar on? What's the guy? 
like a nice little, uh, little one and a half hour just plane get a jet pack. Or Thank you, Suzanne. Ooh. Now you're t- not. Thank you. Somebody's talking <laughs> remember logical the, remember around those here. Old, what was that old like '90s flick? Was it like Rocket Man or not Rocket Man? Uh, oh, the Rocketeer. Rocketeer. Kim Jong, Kim I thought Jong-un. that was so fucking cool back then. Great yeah. movie. Jennifer Connelly, um, the the janitor from Scrubs. And, uh, Chicago to Nashville, ninety-seven bucks. Easy breezy. Yeah, then, you, then you have to fly. Oh, I'd, I'd love flying. Oh, that's right. I'm thinking of, I typed in Lexington. Oh, I forgot about Nashville. That's the other one. <laughs> Take the bus. Flying's fun. Oh, I like God. Flying. I yeah, it's great. God, no way on the bus. I, yeah, I, love, I love flying. I fly everywhere, dude. Oh, that man. That's the if, one that I looked up. That, oh, uh, Beastruts going. Fayetteville oh. has a private airport. And so apparently the only flight during that period of time was from that to Nashville. <laughs> cost eighty seven hundred dollars. Fuck. Jeez. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. When I remember going, I remember flying to uh, Myrtle Beach once from Chicago. And it, oh, what the fuck? It was like four hops. You had to fly from Chicago to Atlanta, then Atlanta to Raleigh, and then you had to take a puddle jumper here, and then drive six miles. To, it, it was hilarious. All the people that, that had to do all the shit just to go there. Yeah, Th- that eighty seven hundred dollar flight was also two hours longer than if I decide to drive there. <laughs> you could fucking buy a car for that. Yeah, well, that's the point. I think no so one's going to take that flight. It's probably not a real flight. It's a, it's a, it's probably like an Epstein flight. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do, yeah. I was going to say yeah. that earlier, but it's just it just goes without <laughs> you, saying. Uh, yeah. you, you listen to the last No Agenda, right? Where they talked about Epstein flying in a fucking cement truck to his island. Oh yeah, I no, saw. I don't this. think I got I heard to that part. Right <laughs> in a cement truck. Well, no, oh, he, yeah, dude. he, he, he this, ordered like, a cement truck to come down there and like fill something in. Who knows? To fill in his bunker. Yeah. Uh, so like, caught an ambulance there too. Before it all went down, like he knew it was coming. Like. <laughs> Oof, yeah. Oh, wait, what? Bearing the evidence. Uh, Conc- let me see if I can find concreted the article. Concreted in the bunker? Yeah, he concreted in uh, cement. I thought you meant like he got inside the cement truck that they... No, no, over. no. He, 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 <laughs> he expedited <laughs> uh, a cement truck. Epstein. See if That's I how they it. busted him out of prison. <laughs> Threw him in the concrete bed. cover up. <laughs> yeah. oh, back to his island. I remember that That's book, right. Mr. Deli Meat Slicer, Maniac McGee. I remember that book. It was like, hey, come on. This isn't the way that they do witness protection or escapes or anything. Think of all the shit that had to have been paid off. There's too many people. He's dead. We are now learning that Jeffrey Epstein ordered a cement truck and had it express shipped to his Caribbean island, a Caribbean island, or three Shit. weeks before an article was published that led to investigators taking him into custody. Daily Mail is reporting on Tuesday. on Thursday. Epstein was found dead. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. He knew uh, the shit was coming down. He is not dead. I mean, if he, there's no way he hasn't had like. A contingency plan for this kind of stuff man like, i would have a dead man switch it. so yeah Maybe he there was one he purchased a car mix 5.5 xl self-loading karmic concrete mixer with optional speedy delivery to little st james island on november 7th last year hmm because uh, was, Epstein was in such a hurry that he paid for the machine up front so it would arrive sooner, even though it meant being responsible if he got damaged if it got damaged in transport. Do you have to like assemble a cement truck when you get it shipped? Ah, to this you thing looks pretty like basic. It looks like it could here, I'll post a pic of it in the chat. Um Didn't does they just fly side? it over under a helicopter or something? Well, let's see. Three weeks later, the Miami Herald published a series of articles called The Provision of Justice on November 20th, which eventually led to his arrest in July. 
earlier today, blah, blah, blah. In other news, we are now learning in his Manhattan mansion featured an oil painting of former Bill Clinton wearing a blue dress and red heels. Man, there's so much noise around that. Oh, Dude, that is so that's stupid. Like, that the guy's stupid. been around for a long time. Yeah, that stupid picture. It's like Photoshop ganker you know like well, it's, then like that whole like just lane maxwell at in and out burger thing was like yeah. the most photoshopped picture i've ever seen it, it was oh dude the, yeah the stage, like, that's one. they weren't even trying yeah it and was then done by her whole, lawyers. like like secret like uh, her lawyers did that yep secret I don't get hilarious texting through amazon book reviews <laughs> like oh yeah like they're coded messages to other cia operatives oh doing people have been their- saying that's what comey's pictures are on yeah. these weird pictures and shit that he posts on twitter or some kind of uh message to the faction well people are just like playing where in the world is carmen san diego with Ghislaine maxwell while like completely missing the point of why any of this was even going on to begin with yep. exactly nuts well come on epstein was just really a foster parent that's all of course yeah he's just wholesome (laughs) wholesome he had his wholesome child island for for (laughs) raising raising orphan train kids (laughs) that's right he's just the scapegoat yes i mean i'm uh he probably also was Totally guilty of doing all that stuff. Absolutely, oh, yes. but he was always going to be totally. bald. And how would he not have known that? Like, uh, you know, maybe that's the deal he made. Maybe he, maybe they said, "Look, you're going to have to take the file, but we won't do it until like you're at least in your fifties or whatever." I mean, uh-huh. the, and, I think it's, yeah, yeah, you know, I think it's, it's you, all uh, planned. All uh, it's like the CIA. We shit. want you to do this mission for us, but if you get caught, we have no knowledge of it. Exactly. You're on your own. Yeah. You know, don't bring us into it. Yada, yada. You'll be paid handsomely. Uh, yeah. But did Lee Harvey Oswald really know that he was a patsy? Like, kind of the same thing. Well, they had to kill him because they knew he was going to make noise. I mean, if he's even dead, who knows? I don't think they told him they're going to kill him, but he, I'm sure he knew if I ever got caught, they're going to kill him. I'm saying, did they, did he even know that he was the one who was going to get pinned for it? Like, I'm sure he knew to an extent they were going to use him for whatever, but like, I just wonder, I mean, how could you not think that? Um, It really depends on how much of like a honeypot brownstone operation was happening there and where all that data is right now. The FBI's got it. No, they don't. You bet they do. He was cooperating with the FBI. That's why he got that sweetheart deal. Yeah, but he was CIA, so yeah, I mean, exactly. You could be CIA like and FBI. He's not FBI. You can't. Have you ever seen the what was that movie with uh, uh, the Departed? You can't. You can't try to be both. I think that's the. You can't be both. Yeah, you can't, you can't be CIA and be FBI because you can't go outside of your jurisdiction. He as made a, a de- yeah. on those FBI documents. It clearly states that he was working for them. He was cooperating with them, and they would not charge him federally as long as he cooperated with them. Oh, I'm sorry. I was still thinking about Lee Harvey Oswald. You're still you're talking about Epstein. Oh, I'm talking about Epstein. Yeah, no, I, I'm, oh, yeah, Epstein I, had I, no idea. Oz, Oswald totally Oswald scary. had no idea he was being used. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I was talking about Epstein. You guys were talking about Oswald. No, I was on Epstein too. Don't worry. Oh, okay. I, I think he was involved. He knew what was going on and he knew the risks. Yeah. I don't think he expected to be killed in jail. Probably not. It's an eight hour trip from Cleveland to Tennessee. Cool. Yeah, it's a cruise, man. <laughs> Seven hours and 55 minutes. Yeah, I would. It's only like two turns, but. Two turns. Yeah, mine's two, two turns. turns. So I could get a flight in an hour and a half for two hundred seventeen bucks. Mm. Yeah, that might but be a better know. idea. <laughs> Shit, what do you think? Uh, Cruise with steak slash donate. Got him. Don't get a bundle. Cruise with steak. Yeah, cruise with cruise with steak dot com slash donate. We need, donate. We need plane tickets <laughs> and ketamine. Yeah. If anybody has an extra computer, <laughs> yes, yes. Let's look, Susanna. Old laptop. I have a stack of them in the corner. There you go. <laughs> I know. You just, do, Jerry. just mail her a stack, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> They're all broken. It's all my old. The laptop graveyard. 
I do have a like a little 11 inch Dell Super XPS 13, it's called. Hmm. That my last company failed to send a call tag for, so I still have it. Oh, nice. I, I hate it. Oh. That's it's tiny. It's yes. like a, my tablet's bigger than. Yeah, 11 uh, inches is very small for a laptop. That's what they gave me as a developer. Here's your developer machine. 11 inches is huge. 11 inches is huge. <laughs> I mean, let's be, on, let's be honest be here, phone. guys. <laughs> don't, don't believe the 11 inch. Screen. Yeah, don't believe no. the 11 inch. <laughs> Jerry, who you got on next Monday tomorrow night? Four? Maybe four. <laughs> it could be two. But we don't know. Don't dinosaurs? Believe, real or don't fake? Believe, oh, dinosaurs oh, are totally fake. Uh, we can't. Let's, 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 dinosaurs let's put a, are real as we're, fuck. We're going to put a pin right. in oh, this. Wait, we're going to put a pin. Question about yeah. Tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow we have Ted Marr, who is the host of Out of This World Radio and TV. Out of Ooh. Bellevue, Washington. Nice. Sounds Ooh. exciting. Fridays from two to four Pacific is his show. He is a he's a five D Earth dude. You oh, know, nice. like Love and Light. Uh, uh -huh. yes. who can see ghosts. Okay. Yeah. Or like he's a that. necromancer, whatever you want to call him. That's what I'm gonna cool. call him. So you're a necromancer type. So there's a big there's a big difference between somebody who can see ghosts and a necromancer. And a necromancer, <laughs> yes. I can see them. Or I can raise them and manipulate them. <laughs> Necromancy, you know. Isn't it just working with the dead? In its purest form is yes, just uh, talking yeah. with the dead, speaking. All my I knowledge, play too many video games. God, thank so. you. All my knowledge of necromancers is from the Diablo franchise. <laughs> that's, that's all I know of necromancers. Necromancy is working with the energy of, right? So uh, right. romancy works with the energy of the earth and pyromancy with fire, et cetera, et cetera. Necromancy would be with the dead, with the spirits. Mm -hmm. You're oh, not yeah. a nice person. Again, it's go. a neutral tool, how you use it. Is, is your choice we're gonna put a we're gonna put a pin in the whole dinosaurs existing <laughs> thing and we're gonna that's re your homework for next yes week. So we're yeah, gonna revisit down, this dude. next week let's, we're gonna let's revisit go to I have you have to come up with a hidden history tease yeah where's the, I where's know, the evidence I, I, well I'll, I'll talk to felix this week and see if we can get him to do something about it i have strong arguments against dinosaurs so I mean i'm all for them all right good man let's all come with an angle i guess dinosaurs I mean, I grew up loving them. Whip it out and the angle of the dangle is proportionate to the, the heat angle of the dangle, dude. Yeah, and there we go. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody. Don't believe yeah. the 5.6. <laughs> like, dinosaurs. share, subscribe. You're fired. Dinosaurs are not real. Neither are nuclear Neither weapons. Birds. Satellites aren't real. Birds aren't real. Space is fake. Satellites are totally not the real. The only thing that's real is 30 to 50 wild boars coming into my yard <laughs> within three feral to five hogs. minutes. Feral hogs. Thank and you. The moon is See, I'm already Joseph forgetting the meme. Feral the moon hogs. is cheese. <laughs> <laughs> the moon is cheese. Absolutely. I saw that in Wallace oh, and Gromit. Holy stinks up there. Just take off your mask. Yeah. <sighs> oh, so, yeah. Uh, Swiss. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for listening. Good night. Goodbye. From Munda, <laughs> from Munda cheese. From Munda. From Munda, my nuts. From Munda. Yeah. I own a big chunk of the Bank of America building in 1290 <laughs> Avenue of the Americas that I got from China in a war. Bucket, baby. You're just a single solitary drop in the bucket, baby. You're just a drop in the bucket, baby. You're just a single solitary drop in the bucket, baby. i
drop down on my bended knee and howl at the moon. Oh, and I drop down on my bended knee, pinching pennies. La da da da. out the scenery rambling from here and there and back and forth between here and there and back and forth between here and there and to the corner store the sunrise corner store the sunrise corner store the sunrise corner store and pennies la da 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 Talk to be my best of friends. 